Sunday Fun Day, 4th of July edition. Is Comatron ready? Oh yeah, Coma's ready, As Talk Dog is ready, Amiga Cammy's here, Gabora's ready, Comatron playing the music and in the chat, my man. Oram is ready to go, Locust, what's up Locust, X Barry PL Chest, Razor XG, my man. That's awesome, Comatron. I hope. Thank you for changing that. You sold one of your Amiga 500s to a cool guy who is now going to be an Amiga Bill follower. Love it. Love it. Oram, subscribe to Tier 2. Dude. Tier 2. I think you're my only Tier 2 sub. Oram, thank you, dude. That's crazy. Thank you so much, dude. Bitten. What is up, Bitten? Mr. Immortal. Great timing, my man. 48K of RAM. Subscribe for three months, 48k. Thank you, sir. You rock, 48k. Thank you so much. Locust, you're watching him on the train. Nice, dude. 10 mark, you know it. You know it. It comes full circle. It begins and ends with the hot tub. You know it. And it is hot in the hot tub today, man. It's hot in New York, baby. Woo! What's up, Dave Test? Razor XG is ready. Poetic Android is here and ready. Knee high spy. What is up, my man? I'm just chilling. Fourth of July weekends. Pretty sweet. I am just pickle. What is up? The best stream on Twitch ever. Oh, thank you, Razor XG. You're too kind. The Retro Bench is here. What is up, my man? You've been waiting for the all week for the stream. Oh, you're too kind, Dave. You're too kind. Yo, Twerk Live. Thank you for the host. Spinto777. Yay. Yo, Maya82. Thank you, Maya. Thank you so much for a subscription. You are, you are too kind. You are too kind. Oram gifted five tier one subs to my community. Oram is on fire. Oram, MVP of the stream so far, my man. I'm going to get the stream started. I started a little late. I had some technical difficulties, so let's get the party started. It is 4th of July weekend here in New York, in the United States. And there's nothing like kicking back and sipping on some lemonade during a holiday weekend in the summer you know what I'm saying so let's check out lemonade by lemon first place old-school demo deadline 2018 here we go
Yo, what is up, everyone? Happy Fourth of July weekend. There's pan pandemonium. Dude, pandemonium is running wild in the chat. I need to catch up over here. What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for hanging out today. Welcome to the stream. Turn this up. There we go. That looks, looks like we got some good levels there. What's up, everyone? Yo, hold on. I gotta go. I gotta go back to the beginning here. Hold on. This is crazy. This is crazy. What's going down? Let's see. I think yeah. So Maya, Maya, thank you so much for the subscription. You rock, Maya. Um, Oram gifted five tier one subs to the community. Oram's on fire. Oram, thank you, thank you so much. Oram is a, is a pleasure to have you, and thank you for your generosity. That that's amazing. It's hot in Austria too. Razor XG, nice. Balto, yo 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 yo. What is up? Um, wow, a hundred degrees over there, ten mark. That's crazy. Gabora, cheers, my man. Razor XG throwing down, throwing down the biddies. Holy cow, 500 bits. 500 bits from the Razer XG. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. It's going, it's going crazy in the chat today. I love it, I love it. I got, um, dude, there's like, I don't even know what 10 emote shared means. I don't even know what's going on. This is amazing. Pred Seda Lemon Amiga. Just returned from the Swass weekend party. That is nice. Yo, I'm just Pickle, you stayed up for me? Aw, oh, thank you, Pickle, thank you. It's crazy. There's craziness going. There's this craziness going on here. Um, Razor XG on the July 4th. Your nephew's got a birthday. Well, happy birthday to your nephew, Razor. That is just awesome. Wow. Oram more bits, dude. Oram with, dude. Oram with 1,500 bits, dude. Oram, that is crazy. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, Oram. Oh my god, Oram, thank you for the generosity. Locust just passed by the Fry's Electronics next to the Ari building in LA. Yo, Locust, you know how much I love Ari. And Ari's US headquarters is right, right down the street from me. Um, shot Hamilton on Ari, baby. We shot Hamilton on Ari. Hamilton streaming now on Disney Plus. Go check it out. Um, Razor XG thrown down. Thrown down more. Dude, Razor XG with 500 bits. Razor XG. Thank you. Thank you, Razor XG. Oh my god. This is, this is just amazing. Um, there's more emotes happening. I'm not even sure what that means, but apparently we got some new emotes. That's rad. Thank you, everyone. Holy cow, dude. This is just awesome. I'm trying to get through all it. There's so much craziness going on right now. I love it. This is just like, I'm not even ready for today's stream. I'll get into that. I'm not even ready. Um, Mr. Mortal, the Amiga's number one reason why you're making music today? That's so cool, dude. That is so cool. Same with Comatron. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Andy Amiga 7 uh, says, thanks again for your exceptionalism. And Andy subscribed with the Twitch Prime, Andy Amiga 7. Thank you, sir. You rock, Andy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andy. Andy Amiga 7, Westchester Amiga user group member extraordinaire. Razor XG with some more bits. Razor XG with 500 bits. Razor XG is just like on fire. Craziness. Craziness. Um, nice bit and nice bit and I'm glad I'm glad you're here. Um, there's all these emotes going down, which is rad. I don't even know I don't even know what, what that's going on. Um, Fry's electronics, nice, yeah. Razor XG even more dude, Razor XG throwing down even more bits. Razor, holy cow, dude. Thank you, Razor XG. Razor, you are an MVP. MVP Razor's thrown down crazy bits. Razor's making it rain bits on Amiga Bill. Thank you, Razor. Holy cow! If I miss anything here, um, you're throwing down. You like you're throwing down the biddies today, drinking beer. You've got a vacation. Razor XG. I'll drink to that. I'll drink to that. Razor XG. Holy cow, dude. Razor XG. That's awesome. Locust, yes. I, I hope, hopefully, you're, you'll stay stable. That is just awesome. I'm trying to catch up on everything here. It's like an emo fest, totally. Summer vacation for Razor XG. I love it. I love it. He's ready to go, baby. Um, his name is George. Happy birthday, George. Razor XG's friend, uh, his nephew. Happy birthday, George. If you're watching, have a great day. It's party time. I know even if your birthday was yesterday, we're still celebrating Fourth of July here. I got, I got my America T-shirt on. <laughs> uh, happy birthday to you. Oh, man. The Retro Bench just offered 10 subscriptions. Retro Bench just gave 10 subscriptions to the Amiga Bill community. Holy cow, dude. Retro Bench, thank you for all your support. I'm going to get into my VIPs in a second. But Retro Bench, that's incredible. You all need to you all need to go shopping right now and buy stuff from retrobench.com. 
Boom, there's a link right there. Retrobench is a, a, a like an incredible supporter of mine. Sells incredible recap kits. He's gonna be selling misters with legal versions of the Amiga OS uh, ROMs on it. Retrobench is amazing. Thank you, Retrobench, that's so cool. Uh, Razor actually says, George has his birthday on the 4th of July. All right, George, happy birthday, my man. Cheers to you. Have a, I hope you had a great day and I hope you're continuing the party here today on July 5th. It's never, you know, I like to, like, birthday shouldn't be one day, man. You should at least celebrate for a week. You know what I'm saying? At least a week. Monster Joysticks, what is up? I'll be getting to you in a second, my man. <laughs> Yo, Hazemaker, Hazemaker, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. Hazemaker's got a, a Jack Tramiel emote. I love it. I love it. 48k RAM, dude. You can get you can get a free you can get a free trial and watch and watch the Hamilton. <laughs> you can get a free trial. Yeah, Comatron. I shot. I, I was the camera operator, a camera operator on Hamilton. You're banana. Razor XG, you are bananas. It's the uh, the vacation is is uh, I like it. You're drinking on vacation, chill now. It's amazing. Maya, my A2 just watched the Hamilton and she loved it. Awesome, Maya. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You just, retreat, you just returned from a yoga retreat in Austria, Razor XG. Holy cow, dude. That is awesome. Torque Live, what is up? Thank you for the host. Um, now I love yoga. Razor XG loves yoga. Nice. I love yoga, too. Yoga is amazing. I used, to, I, used to do, I used to take a lot of yoga, but I haven't done it in a while. Poetic Android has got all kinds of crazy emotes going on. It's awesome. Bitten's throwing down the Amiga. Uh, Arcade ADJ, how's it going? As Talk Dog, Amiga for life. It is just, wow. The, it is hot in the chat today, everyone. Guru Meditation Razor XG and the Andy Amiga 7 with some beer and some Amiga and some Amiga love. Oh, I love it. I love it. Frankie Deadman with the Amiga love. Yeah, Razor XG, you are you are the Commodore and Amiga MVP today. And Razor X, Razor XG MVP even rhymes, my man. Thank you for the host Arcade ADJ. Appreciate that very very much. Oh yeah, you dropped a little of the July 4th release. Nice, nice ass talk. Maybe we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at it in a second. The Paul sound is amazing, isn't it? I love it too. I love it too, uh, Razor. George, yeah, happy birthday to George. He's eight years old. Awesome. Eight years young. Love it. Love it. You haven't showed him the Amiga yet? You got to. The America shirt. You know it, 10 Mark. 10 Mark repping the, repping the Amiga Mer casino along with me here and lots of other folks. Other great folks here, like the Amiga Love in America, love it. <laughs> the the hype train's going crazy. Choo, 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 you know it. George will be a new Amiga user, Razor. Excellent. I love it. I love it. You do have to start him on the Amiga Young. Agreed, 10 Mark. Um, your, your, Amiga, your nephew will be the next Amiga 1200 user, Razor. That is awesome. That is awesome. Bobby Zeal, thank you for the 100 biddies. That's incredible. <laughs> Razor XG, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll have to have a head to head comparison. They're, the cool thing is they're both unique and different, which is awesome. Razor XG, thank you for another 100 bits. Birthday weeks are definitely where it's at. I'm just pickled. You know it. You know it. Mr. Soon, day job is killer busy. I'm glad you're busy, Retrobench. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, Cartamon, thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream, Cartamon. At the beginning of my streams, I usually just say hello to everyone because every week I stream here on Twitch on Sundays and I've got like the most amazing group of friends that show up. So I like to say every, hi to everyone at the beginning of the streams. Then we do Amiga News, then we get into some gameplay. Oh my god, I just I just knocked my, my Indiana Jones action figure over. This is the guy, remember this guy when Indiana Jones is like in the marketplace and he, he's, he, like, he pulls out this knife and does all this crazy like, this crazy like machete sword work. And then Indiana Jones just pulls out a gun and like shoots him. <laughs> That's what this little scene is happening here. Um, yeah, Oram, you guys are fired up today. It's crazy. Um, yeah, Oram says that's cool because there's mostly women doing yoga, and I don't, I don't understand why. It's like a workout, and men were the founders of yoga in India. Not yeah, Razor actually, dude. Yoga, yoga is uh, is unisex. You know, anyone can enjoy the yoga. It's all about breathing, stretching. It's amazing. Uh, yoga, it, it, it balances your mind and your brain. You know what I mean? I love it. K Indiana, what's up, dude? Haze Maker, I love it, Haze. Love it, dude. The boing balls are on fire. Razor XG is on fire. You used to do yoga with your cats, Amiga Cami. Nice. Nice. I need to start doing more yoga again. I should have been doing more yoga, you know, like during, during COVID. But uh, the yoga class, obviously everything closed up. I could have done it at home. You know what I mean? Um, what I... 
Oram, dude, Oram with another 1500 bits. Oram, you are, you are crazy. You are crazy, Oram. Thank you so much, Oram. You, you're amazing. I appreciate you so much, Oram. Thank you. You're, that's incredible, dude. Incredible. Ah, oh, wow. Gabora, thank you. With Oram, dude, Oram, you're, you're amazing. It's, it's raining emotes. I know, I know. It's crazy. I should, I should bust out my umbrella. <laughs> Smash1980, good afternoon to you. Amiga Bang says, I'm watching two streams at once, I, so the pressure is on. All right, I'll do my best, Amiga Bang. I will do my best. You can use, you know, multi-twitch. You can use multi-twitch. That's cool. Amiga Inventors were in California and cool people. Yes, they, they are very cool people, and I love California, one of my favorite states in the world. You like breathing? Yeah, breathing, breathing is good, Amiga Bang. It is good. You're super positive after a yoga retreat. Razor actually yoga is amazing. I love it. I love it. Jumps out of the basket. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, knee high spy. We got so what's on tap for today? Today we're gonna start off with some Amiga news. Um, to be honest, like I'm not like today. I, I've been really enjoying the holiday, you know, and I, I I'm not as prepared for today's stream as I would as I would like to be. Um, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay. So we've got some viewer requested games. We got some Indiana Jones action games we're gonna play that were requested by Amiga Sons. We got some Alien Breed we're gonna play that was also requested by Amiga Sons. And then I'm not sure what's gonna happen after that. Not sure. Oh man. Who needs yoga when you have a guru meditation? Exactly, Pred Zeta, exactly. They do outdoor classes. Razor XG, they used to do outdoor yoga right on the Hudson River where I live. It was really cool. It was they like gave free classes, it was awesome. Unfortunately, like everything everything stopped with the COVID, you know. Ty Racer, what's up Ty Racer? Great to see you, my man. Outdoor yoga is amazing. Yo, Lucas44, thank you so much for the follow, Lucas. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. I hope you enjoy your time here. It's going it's to be wild, I promise. You use Chatty? Oh, I never, never tried that. I should move to the next mod. Is it stuck or something? I'll move it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you for being on point there. Thank you, thank you for giving me the heads up about the next mod there. I get so into the, I get so into reading the chat. I can't tell what's going on. Thank you, Crimson SD. What was the uh, set Ren 68? What was the best Amiga model? Well, the best selling Amiga model was the Amiga 500. In my opinion, if you were to get an Amiga today in 2020, I would recommend the Amiga 1200 because I, in my opinion, is the most versatile. It can play the original games like the OCS. It can play AGA games. Uh, you can, you know, put a, a compact flash or SD hard drive in it. It's got a PC MCI port that lets you transfer files super easily between a regular PC, like your modern PC or Mac and your Amiga. So I'm a, I would recommend the 1200 for, for, you know, today's standards, but the 500 best selling Amiga of all time. Uh, and then of course, like the most powerful Amiga was the 4000, which is, you know, incredible, incredible machine. You need a long play of Indy 4, uh, Indiana Jones 4. I, I might do that one day, not today. <laughs> Anything Amiga is good, you know it, Nehi. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Alien Breed is really, really good. I, I love Alien Breed. Project Osiris is a fan-based remake of Alien Breed 3D. I, oh, you know Smash 1980? I've heard of it. Um, I remember when that came out, but I actually haven't played it myself. Um, good, good call there, Smash 80. This layout is bringing back memories of your Amiga 2000 your uncle gave you, Lucas. Nice, dude. Yeah, so Lucas, this is um, Workbench 1.3 that I'm kind of uh, paying homage to here right now. Of course, the Hippo player there with the um, with the mods in it. That's uh, Workbench 3.1. But like my general my general layout is Workbench 1.3 because that's the one that's nearest and dearest to my heart. The Amiga 500 and everything you see is like shot off my actual. Amiga monitor, like I generated it all with my actual Amiga, shot it off the real monitor. I want you to feel the pixels. I want you to take the, take the pixels, throw them in your mouth, and like chew on them and enjoy them and just soak in the Amiga goodness. You know what I'm saying? K Indiana says Amiga 500 Plus was and is the best. Amiga 500 Plus is a good one too. No AGA on it, but you know, that's okay. It's based on uh, GZ Doom. Nice Smash Eighty. You know, there's also a great Chaos Engine, a great Chaos Engine uh, homage. It's like it's a Doom. It's a Doom mod that's really really cool. I played recently. 
You've got your Amiga 1200 from 1996. Nice, nice Cardamon. Nice, um, Cardamon. Nice, dude. 10 Mark loves all the Amigas. The 3000 is his favorite, followed by the 1000. That's the thing, man. There's, there's no, there's no, there's no wrong answer as to what your favorite Amiga is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'd say my favorite Amiga is the 1200, but the, for nostalgia purposes, my favorite is the 500 since it was my first one. But there's, they're all, they're all good, man. They're all good. You just picked up a Chicken Lips 500. Should be here today. Can't wait. Nice, nice, um, nice laugh, boy. That is awesome. That's awesome. Oh, Knee High Spy is gonna listen to the stream while working on uh, the A1000. Let's do this. Nice. I think the 500 Plus had, that's a great question, Crimson SD. The 500 Plus was never available here uh, in the States. I'm pretty sure it was one megabyte. I'm pretty sure it came with one megabyte chip. I need to double check my facts though. Amiga Cami says one megabyte could be upgraded to two. There you go. Dude, 1400 US dollars is a little bit crazy for 1200. That, that's nuts, dude. That is nuts. Hazemaker likes the, uh, the 1200. Uh, yeah, dude. I'm soaking you with pixels from the Amiga house. You know it, Andy Amiga 7. Yo, Cotter, what is up, Cotter? Great to see you, my man. Mad Pete, thank you so much for a subscription, Mad Pete. You rock, dude. Thank you so much, Mad Pete. I really appreciate the support so much, Pete. I hope all's well with you. Welcome to the stream. You had a 500 model that had the one megabyte Agnes? Oh, nice. Nice, and you modded it to have one mega chip? That's sweet. That is sweet. I was a 512 Amiga 500 guy. I had to expand it to get one megabyte. Nice, you still have yours, Candy Your 500 plus, that's sweet. The 500 plus is cool, especially being that's pal. Very handy today in you know in today's world. What's going on with the What's going on with the music here? What's going on with this music selection? Uh, let's try this one. There we go. There we go. Dude, I love it. Chat is fired up today. I, I was really tired today. I'm not gonna lie. You want to see me play BC Kid today, Cotter? There is a place where you can request games. Do viewer requests. I can't do them on the fly because I need to prepare the games before the stream. Uh, I mean, sometimes I can do it on the fly, but it would be much easier to um, if you if you if you uh, you know request it beforehand. And the best way to request the game is to go into my Discord. And I got a spot in the Discord where you can uh, you can request games. And that's where Amiga Sons went and requested the games for today. I know the Amiga 500 Plus is is kind of rare in a way because the the battery was on the motherboard. So if you didn't pull that Varda off and the battery leaked, it could do some serious damage to your motherboard. Scary stuff. What's up, Muso John 74? Great to see you. Oh, the CD32, dude, the CD32 is awesome, Cobrian. The CD32 would be a really cool console to have today. That is awesome. Get the damn batteries out. You know it, 48K RAM. Damn, look, dude. 48K RAM. Oh, man, I, I just knocked Indiana over. Look at, look at these fuckers. Sorry, sorry for the cuss word there. See, I, I pull Vardas out. I kill Vardas every week. I'm killing Vardas. Get these suckers out of your Amiga. <laughs> I don't know if the kid showed up yet, so I can be I can be not PG. <laughs> What's up, Hucky28? Great to see you, Hucky28. Uh, As Talk Dog, there's a new post in the Amiga News thread that I may have missed. Oh man, I uh, if something gets posted like during my stream, it's it's a little bit hard for me to see it. Um, so if you, I'll I'll take a look though. What's up, Roar? Great to see you. And the, all, yes, awesome, 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 Roar. It's great to see you. And the chat, the chat is amazing, amazing. Yes, I, uh, Oram, I did take the battery. Those batteries are from those Amiga 2000s. They are, those batteries are out. And I put them, I, you know, I put them like in the graveyard. I got a graveyard under my monitor just to like, just as a reminder to always remove the batteries. Kill the Varder's dead, Crimson SD. You know it. I, I'm doing really well, Roar. I hope you are too, my man. Nice, nice Muso John. Yeah, damn the Vardas. They, the Vardas suck. I, I'm with, I'm with you, Cobrian. 
Amiga Bang, it probably is. It is probably the, the Roar of Legends. I bet you it is the same Roar. The Roar of Legends. <laughs> He's a great artist. If the, if, you're, if the Roar you know is a great painter, then that's the Roar that's in the chat right now. What's up, Moloch? Moloch 001. What's up, dude? You're welcome, Roar. All right, let's get started here. We got we got so much to do today. It's crazy. You you uh you were going on along with your CD32 back in the day. Oh, that's crazy, Amiga Cami. That is just awesome. You're all good, Muso. Nice, dude. Oh, Ravi's playing an Amiga Rave DJ set on YouTube. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Well, this that's awesome, man. If you want to watch that, go for it, my man. <laughs> You had the SX32 with eight megabytes of RAM and hard drive. Nice. That's awesome, Cami. That that that's a that's a power setup right there. All right, so let's start with the Amiga news, guys. Uh, there's there's a uh, a lot of news to, to catch up on. Um, I'm gonna do a quick. Let's see. Okay, open link URL. I'm gonna just do a quick. Uh, Mr. David Pleasance asked me to um, remind you all that his Kickstarter is live. He's getting very close to his goal. He's got 14 days to go, and. Um, he just wanted me to, to mind you all that, that his Kickstarter is live and he, he wants to get pushed over the finish line. So from Vultures to Vampires, the book um, that we interviewed Mr. Pleasance about, uh, the, the Kickstarter has got 14 days to go. He's got 27, almost 27 and a half K and uh, he's on his way to, to $31,209. So he's really, really close and he was asking for help to get over the finish line. So I will copy and paste this link into the chat. Oh, actually, you can just do the book command. I'll just do that. Boom. And you can go, if you haven't already backed it, you can go back the book at that link. It's a gripping tale of success over severe adversity in the world of Commodore and Amiga. Excellent. Vultures to Vampires. It's gonna, that's going to be a really interesting book, I tell you. It's going to be interesting. It, there's a lot of reasons why it's going to be interesting. <laughs> 25 years of copyright chaos and technology triumphs. Vultures to vampires. Speaking, speaking of Kickstarters, right before the stream, I got a really nice surprise. I just want to give this guy a shout out because he's super. This was like this really like meant a lot to me. Um, I got a message on Facebook, and you know, a lot of times people ask me, "Hey, can you mention my Kickstarter, mention my game, whatever?" And of course, like I, that's I love doing that stuff. That's like what I'm all about. But um. But Matthew Smith, he just sent me a free copy of his Amiga Power album. Amiga Power uh, was a Kickstarter that went, you know, like, I don't know, maybe maybe like a year ago. And it's uh, like a, a, a remake of many classic Amiga songs. And um, he just sent me a copy of it because he said, hey, thanks so much for, you know, mentioning my Kickstarter back in the day, you know, back when I started it. I just want to give this to you as a gift. And I just thought that was like super, super nice of him. Um, it was just rad. It was just so rad that he thought of me. It's like, thank, I just want to thank you for all the help. And he just sent me like a free copy of his Amiga Power album. So um, I just want to say thanks, thanks to Matt. Like, thanks to Matthew. That was super, super sweet of him. I mean, he's got nothing to gain right now, really. <laughs> he just gave it to me as a nice token of appreciation. So Matthew, I really appreciate that. Um, Amiga Power, the al album with Attitude, is a double CD collection of Amiga game music remixes inspired by the mightiest computer games magazine ever conceived by human beings. Wow, wow, that's power right there. Um, this was a Kickstarter. I, again, I forgot exactly when this Kickstarter happened. It was like a, it was like a, a year ago or something like that. And uh, it's finally coming out, man. It's finally coming out. Amiga Power, like the magazine, the album with Attitude. The songs are super, super cool. Um, he said that he may, if there's surplus copies, he may offer some of the surplus copies to sell. So you can, um, you can keep checking back to his Kickstarter. Which is the link right there, um, Amiga Power, the album with Attitude. But anyway, I was just super stoked. Like I was just, I was just like really happy that he, uh, he was like, hey man, like, I appreciate you helping out, and he sent me the, sent me this, uh, a copy of it, and that was really, really nice of him, man. I appreciate that. Kickstarter's over, you know, he's got nothing to gain right now, so that was just super kind of him. I appreciate that very much, dude. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, Robbie's, Robbie's, yeah, Robbie's um, Smash 80, his Robbie's DJ mix, mix are awesome. Awesome, I love it. I'm just trying to catch up on cat. Sorry if I missed something. Um, if I missed something, just do add Amiga Bill. If I missed something in the chat. Mr. Pleasant said you a signed book, Comatron. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Ten Mark says Matthew Smith is a good guy. I, I agree. I agree, Ten Mark. That was a really nice gesture. Nice Razor XG. Nice, dude. A double CD is a lot of work. Totally. Amiga Joker for the win. Amiga Joker does rule, dude. Richard. You read Amiga Format as a kid? Nothing wrong with that, Smash 1980. Nothing wrong with that. Razor XG. Don't... Razor, is that... Is that serious? Like, is that real? Dude, Razor. That is crazy, Razor XG. Razor XG. Holy dude. Whoa, hold on, I'm so excited, Razor XG. I just kicked out my headphones. Dude, Razor. Razor, what the hell, dude? Thank you so much, Razor. That's insane. Dude, Razor XG, you are bananas. You're you're not just bananas, you're you're uh you're insane in the membrane. Holy crap, Razor. Razor, thank you I can't I mean I can't even like put it into words, Razor XG. Razor XG, um can you like send me a private message on Discord or on Twitter? Please, just do it, okay? Because I want to send you some stuff. Because I, I, that's that's unbelievable, dude. That I mean, that's unbelievable, Razor XG. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much, dude. Razor, thank you. Banana Joe. Banana Razor. Banana Razor, dude, that's nuts. That's unbelievable. Holy crap. Razor, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Holy crap, dude. I'm like a little bit blown away right now. The Deluxe Tux. What is up, the Deluxe Tux? Welcome to the stream. Razor, that is crazy. Do I ever play, um... Kelbwood 1. Do I ever play any, uh, Cardis and Obraski games? I, no, I have never played them. Um, but I would, I would love to try them out. I'm not even familiar with them, to be honest. What's up, Human Rag? Great to see you. Yeah, dude, um, Smash 1980, when he mixes between the two 1200s, or, that's just awesome. I agree. Chiz Wicked, what is up, my man? Great to see you, Chiz. Hope all is well. What's up, Poetic Android? Dude, Razor XG, I'm, I'm just blown away. I'm just blown away. I update, I updated, uh, SetRen68, I updated mine. I got 3.1.3.1.5. I've got 314 kickstarts in my in my 1200. I've upgraded mine. I love Cypher Cell. Your favorite Amiga magazine was the one that had the best game demos on the cover disc that month? Yeah, there you go, Amiga Cami. Um, <laughs> you, oh, you're a Cypher Cell fan, Razor XG? I love Cypher Cell. Love Cypher Cell. 420. <laughs> insane in the membrane. I'm insane, got no brain. You're, you are insane in the membrane today, Razor XG. You're unbelievable, dude. Oh, uh, thank you, thank you, Deluxe Tux. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Razor, actually, I'm, yeah, I always end the streams at 4:20. I might go. Let's see. So today's stream, I might, I might go a little bit over. We'll see. We'll see. You love the baseball tune in the background, Mad Pete. Baseball, state of the art, one of the best demos of all time. Julia and Dan of Crimson Diamond sent me your way. Oh, awesome, Deluxe Tux. Julia and Dan are the best. I, I'm gonna have them on my stream one day. Even though their game's not an Amiga game, it's a really cool adventure game, and uh, I might have them on like a bonus stream, you know what I mean? Their th game is super cool, and she's super nice, and Dan is awesome. I love Dan. It's an Arkanoid Breakout clone? Oh, I don't... Yeah, I'm, I never played it, uh, Kel Kelwood. I would love to. Oh, nice Locust. Nice locust. It's gonna be. I love going through the old stuff. Yo, 3D Code Warrior. Oh, uh, Carson and Obraski wrote the first tracking software for the Amiga. Oh, wow, sweet, sweet. 3D Code Warrior subscribed at tier one. 3D Code Warrior, thank you so much for the support. Damn, dude. 
16 months. That's amazing, 3D Code Warrior. He says, hello all, Amiga forever. 3D Code Warrior, thank you so much for the support, dude. That's amazing. The demo is awesome, Torrent. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, Razor. Razor, you might be right now, dude. You, whatever you are right now, Razor, don't ever change. Because <laughs> you're awesome right now. You're in a good spot right now, Razor. Keep doing the yoga. <laughs> Oh, thank yeah, Human Interact. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yeah, I did. I replaced. Um, I put a. I put a, a red LED bulb in my my lamp in the background. I'm sorry. I'm way behind on chat. I'm gonna try and catch up really fast. Mad Pete, you love you love the space vault demos. Me too. I love them. I love them. Space vault state of the art is amazing. Smash 1980. I love it. Crystal Hammer is the best example of uh, Carson Obrasky stuff. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Roar, I'm pretty sure it's 1992. I'm pretty sure it's 1992. Captain Crunch, no, this is water. I'm drinking water. I'll be drinking alcohol when I go on a picnic soon. It's 4.40 a.m. in Australia. Holy cow, Amiga Cami, you are an all-star. Hey, what's up, Lucas44? Your junior high school did your school video graphics using the video toaster on Amigas and computer classes in the 90s. Uh, Lucas, I did that too. I was like the video guy in my high school. I was the video guy. Um, and I didn't use, we didn't, weren't lucky enough to have a video toaster, but I used the Amiga and I used, uh, I used a Rock Gen and I used Deluxe Paint and Pro Video Gold and all kinds of cool programs. Um, that's, yeah, I, dude, I, I can uh, appreciate that very, very much. I, I never had a video toaster until, until like three months ago. And I got, I got it right there. That's a toaster right there. Um, that, it's actually a DVD playing right now, the toaster's off, but that's a toaster in there. State of the Art is from 1992, yeah, there you go, Torrent, there you go. Amiga 2000 was your jam growing up? Yeah, dude, the 500 was my first one, but my, my daily driver from like 1990 on was like 2000. You declare chat, no, I'm not, no way, dude, no way, 48k RAM, keep, keep it going, keep it going. Ultra Storm 1977, what is up? Great to see you. Nine Fingers is awesome. I, I, Mad Pete, I, I, uh, I started my stream at Nine Fingers not too long ago. You were the video guy in high school too, but it was Windows 98 and Premiere 5.1. Oh, uh, and it crashed a lot. Yeah, I was already uh, out of, um, out of high school by then. Human Interact, but that was like college for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, Premiere was terrible back then. It was so buggy. The Deluxe Paint is the best. I love it. Love it. Yes. Yes, Roar. I am going to do some more Video Toaster videos. I am. Absolutely. Avid on the Power Mac. Nice, dude. Wow. I just, dude, I just got, I just got distracted, man. Like, because that's, I can't believe it, dude. Razer XG is just, like, insane. I, I just, sorry, guys. I just got a little bit thrown off. Like, Razer XG's generosity just kind of threw me off for a second. Um, speaking, speaking of generosity, speaking of generosity, let me, uh, open this up. Speaking of generosity, there's a big event coming up. The Amigathon 2020, which is hosted and organized by the Amigos, who are great, great guys. I've been a, um, a participant in Amigathon the past several years. They are raising money for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Amigathon is happening on July 18th, 2020. So I'm gonna do a bonus stream that week for sure. I'm gonna be streaming on, on Saturday, July 18th, the same time that I start these streams. They asked me what time I want to start. I'm like, you know what, I'll stream at 2 p.m. my time. So everyone kind of like knows, you know, like my, my stream um, time. And I'm gonna do a stream for them. Is at the stream is, so their stream is gonna be on uh, their Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Amigos Retro Gaming. Then they're gonna they're gonna raid like Retro Man Cave's Twitch channel, and he's gonna throw it back to them. Then they're gonna raid me, and then I'm gonna throw it back to them. It's gonna be a two hour stream, and I got something really cool planned for that. There's not gonna be like any Amiga news or like really chit chatting or much. I'm gonna freaking do hardcore gaming. Hardcore gaming for the kids. That's going down on July 18th, Saturday, July 18th, 2 p.m. Eastern. I get that 6 p.m. at UTC. I got two two hours, two hours of hardcore gaming for the kids. So be sure to tune in. And if you want to donate, where's my where's my cursor? And if you want to donate to Amigathon, you can start donating now, or you can donate on the day. You know, and I'll shout you out and stuff and all that fun stuff. 
um, open uh, copy link URL. I'm gonna paste it here. Boom. They've already started. Check it out. They already started, dude. They already they already raised, they already raised six hundred and five dollars. Go amigos, amigathon. I'm just gonna put that link right there. So Amigathon's gonna start out on uh, the Twitch channel of the Amigos, then it's gonna go to Retro Man Cave's Twitch channel, then it's gonna go back to Amigos Twitch channel, then it's gonna come to me, then it's gonna go back to back to them. It's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing weekend. Your first Amigo was an Atari ST. Uh, I understand Ty Racer. Yeah, dude, Atari ST was priced right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, uh, coaxial cabal. <laughs> uh, um, yes, I've got. I've, we're gonna play some Indiana Jones. I got, I got my Indiana Jones figures here. Ready? We're gonna do some Indiana Jones. We're gonna do some Alien Breed Special Edition, and I don't even know what's gonna happen after that. I, I'm freestyling a little bit today because I'm not quite, I'm not quite as prepared as usual because it's a holiday weekend here in the states, and I've been, I've been holidaying for the past several days. <laughs> <gasps> um, you used photon paint back in the day. Oh, nice, ten mark. I never really used photon paint much. That's cool. I photon. I, I never used photon paint much. The state of Amiga emulation on the PC and the Mac. Uh, set ran. Well, stay tuned. Set ran because I'm about. To, that's part of the Amiga news section. There's a new version of an Amiga emulator just came out. Um, so the state of Amiga emulation is really good, actually. There's gonna be yeah, Razor actually. There's gonna be a bonus stream. Oh yeah, there's um, they're having an art competition too, I guess, as part of the uh, Amigathon. Uh, thanks for reminding me, Ten Mark. I, I I don't think I'm gonna submit any artwork. I don't have time. I'm just gonna do the stream. Razor says we love your stream so much, so much positivity. Thank you, Razor XG. Thank you, Razor XG. Razor XG, dude, freaking MVP. Oram MVP. You'll be there, Oram. Nice, dude. What is the D paint compo? As talk dog. Um, we'll talk offline. You know, I'm, there's. I wish there was more information. Uh, more information about it. Um, but keep staying tuned to my streams, and I'll keep you guys updated about the compos, and I'll post them in my Discord as well. Um, I wish there was a spot where there, I could get some more information about about the uh, Amigathon art competitions. Yeah, you gotta think positive, Razor XG. You gotta think positive. It's your first year not attending the Amigathon? No worries, Roar. Yeah, 48k RAM, they are gonna blow that out of the water. I, you know it, 48. We're gonna do it. I do, I do, um, I do have VODs, Lucas44. If you go onto my Twitch channel, you can check, um, go under, I think it's under highlights, and it says, like, replay. And, uh, all my VODs are there. You can also, I also have a YouTube channel just for my, um, just for my VODs. Um, it's, it's YouTube. YouTube.com slash Amiga Bill. Is it in my social links? Uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> but YouTube, YouTube slash Amiga Bill. It's like I just it's a YouTube channel I only use for VODs. But you can just do it right here on Twitch, Lucas. You can just do it right here on Twitch. And you can see all the highlights or replays of my streams. Yo, Captain John Archer, Captain's on the bridge with Amiga Suns. Captain John, we are going to be playing some Indiana Jones and Alien Breed for the Amiga Suns. So I'm very happy that you guys are here. I don't know if you saw them, but I got, I got, um, hold on a second. I've so many new, I've got so many new, um, I got so many new, like, Profiles. I'm not even sure. I got, I got. See, I got some some Indiana Jones figures here for for Amiga Sons, and I got that dude there, the dude that you know touches the thing and he gets the, his hand burns. It's awesome. Where's my, where's VHS cam full screen? All right, there you can see him here. There you go. I got these guys. These are authentic toys from the 1980s. We got Indiana. We got this dude. Remember that scene? Remember that scene in Indiana Jones when this guy pulls out his machete and he starts going crazy with all his like sword play? Then Indiana like pulls out the gun and caps him. And there's there's this dude. Remember this guy? This guy, this guy, Raiders of the Lost Ark, dude. He was a bad guy. VHS cam, not happy with the focus there. There he goes. Boom, boom. And then I got, I got, um, you can see. See, I, I got your picture there. I got Amiga Sons on my Amiga. Captain John and the copy and paste Amiga Sons. I got you guys over there. <laughs> All right, what's next on the Amiga news? Aztoc, nice. Thank you for the donation. Aztoc donated um, 
when you saw me and Tenmark over on the, the Pints and Amiga fundraiser. That was a good one. That was a great fundraiser. That was a great one. How did we request work? You want to request Crystal Hammer? Um, Keldwood, I would, dude, that's great. Thank you for the request. Um, are you in, do you have Discord by any chance? Because that's the best way to do it. I got a special spot there um, where I, I, um, I take requests. And Keldward, thank you so much for the follow, Keldwood. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, Keldwood, I tell you what, Keldwood, just send me a whisper. Just send me a whisper right here on Twitch and, and I'll get it. Retro Ralph, what's up, dude? Oh, um, Metal Mutant, nice one, Tie Racer. Aztoc, you should, you should. I do play vi Virtual Virtual Verse. I love Virtual Verse. It's, that's a great game. I love it. I do have video to Lucas forty fourth. I do have video toaster bots, and I even have a, a whole video toaster video I made. If you go to um, if you go to that that YouTube channel, I just threw it. That's my regular YouTube channel. It's called youtubecom slash Meditation. It's a channel I do with my buddy Anthony, uh, and I got a whole YouTube a whole toaster video just over there as well. So I've, I've streamed a toaster. I've, I made a video about it on the YouTube channel, and I've got more. I got more toaster videos to come. <laughs> Dave test. You're hoping that we get through COVID to still have BCF East in October. It's still on. As of now, it's still on. Yo, Laugh Boy. Thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate that so much, Laugh Boy. Thank you. You're curious about the Indiana Jones action game. We're gonna see it in a minute. I'm just, it's like so much, there's so much action happening in chat right now. <laughs> and now it's time for some Amiga news. SR Baker, what's up buddy? Great to see you, my man. You would still like to see a classic indie adventure long play one day, Locust? I'm gonna, I, I need to learn how to stream adventure games well, and I'll, I will, there's, cause I, I know, I, I promised you guys I'm gonna stream Dune when the movie comes out. And I and I'll do a, uh, an Indiana Jones one as well because Indiana Jones adventure game might be one of the all-time best. I mean that Secret of Monkey Island, the Indiana Jones, uh, Atlantis, you know that one. Uh, Secret of Atlantis is a great one, and uh, Dune. They're all all great adventure games. Happy Amiga Day to you, SR Baker. What's up, Jiro? Great to see you, my man. Keldwood, there we go. Nice Keldwood. You can also send me a whisper, dude. The Lost Underground, thank you so much for the host, Lost Underground. Lost Underground for the win is the demo group that I am now an, a member of. I'll start making some good stuff for them sometime soon. But congrats on your on your uh, submission to, um, what, what, what party was it that was this weekend? I, I, I lose track. You like those Indiana miniatures? Nice, dude, Captain John. You watched uh, the first Indiana Jones movie with, the, with Big Amiga Sun? Nice. Those are, those are authentic toys from the 80s that I had. Oh, SR Baker got stickers this week. Nice, nice. SR Baker, nice dude. Um, Coaxel Cabal, I do not have a Vampire V4. There's a guy in our club named Manny. He's a uh, he works for Apollo, and uh, so we have we get the Vampire at uh, at our Westchester Amiga User Group meetings. Uh, but I don't have one myself. Oh, you're playing Future Wars. Nice. In the Atlantis, yeah, we're going for it. All right, I got to um, I've got to um. Yeah, Comatron, dude, I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited about entering the uh, about entering the, the demo scene. I, I can't wait to do some stuff with the Lost Underground. Um, all right, I gotta I gotta keep moving here. <laughs> oh my, it's 50 minutes into the stream and I'm still doing news. Ay ay ay. All right, well here we go. Here we go. This news broke during my stream last week. This was breaking news that happened during my stream last week, but. It's really hard for me sometimes when something happens like on stream, sometimes I can't always like get to it. And Santi Dark G was like, dude, there's breaking news happening in your Discord. I'm like, okay, awesome. And then I got distracted, but I'm not gonna get distracted now. Let's head over to Indie Retro News who came out with the article after my stream. Uh, Eon, an Amiga AGA Shadow of the Beast inspiration is coming to an Amiga near you. We were contacted this weekend from Solo that Goblins, Amiga Wave, and Wonder Boy Bobby have tested a new video for their upcoming Amiga AGA game called Eon. This game, which was first officially announced back in January of last year, was apparently released way back in 2014 by Wonder Boy Bobby as a short playable demo inspired by games such as Shadow of the Beast or Lionheart. 
and is classed as an action RPG with skill and items progression. According to the EAB forums, the game will be recreated from scratch for an Amiga AGA CD32 and is designed to make use of the dual play field and scroll parallax for almost the entire game, thus obtaining a visual and gaming experience worthy of an AGA machine. Nice, so they're pushing AGA to the limits. I like it. I like it. The main development uh, will be for Amiga AGA with an O20 up to 14 megahertz and 2 megabytes of RAM. Interesting. Um, so you'll need at least one Amiga 1200 or a CD32. Perfect. Let's take a look. Let me pause the music. Let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look at the video. You're psyched. You hope it hit 10 mark. That's a good point. He's he's uh, he hopes it's got better gameplay than Shadow of the Beast. I'm with you, 10 mark. I'm with you. <laughs> good point. Yeah, roars love in the parallax. Nice. Even the music, even the music is very Shadow of the Beast esque. You're, oh yeah, you are gold, Oram. You are. I missed, I missed the story, but that's cool. Wow, there's two, two dragons, two surviving dragons, both were females. That's the problem. How are you gonna make more dragons? That's beautiful. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this game. This looks ridiculous, guys. Yes! This looks sick. Yeah, Roar is very is very atmospheric. Yeah, the character does a little bit like Darth does look a little bit like Darth Maul. And Darth Maul is awesome, Oram. That's cool. Another Amiga 1000 breeds again. Nice knee high spy. Excellent. Fred Zeta says this is an old demo. The new one has the layers fixed. Fred Zeta, do you have a link to the new demo? What's up, Toby, 1976? Yo. Slashin' Trashin' Slashin' Trashin' Super Ninja. Thank you for the follow. That is an awesome screen name, by the way. That is so cool. Thank you so much for the follow. If you're, uh, if you're new to my streams, I'm Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here once a week on Twitch, every Sunday, 2 p.m. New York City time. I also run the Westchester Amiga user group. We've got a virtual meeting coming up this week. We, meet, we normally meet on the first Thursday of every month in White Plains, New York. And I also do YouTube videos every now and then with my buddy Anthony, uh, youtube.com slash Meditation. So thank you. Thank you for hanging out today, everyone. Awesome. Well, that looks sick. Even if that was an old demo, that was, that was pretty awesome. Sin Lao, thank you for the host, my man. That looks super cool. Eon. All right, we gotta keep moving here. So I, I like I like watching the games because like today I feel like today is gonna be more of a watching games kind of thing. You'll see what happens when I get to uh, you'll you'll see why. Um,
Anyway, uh, let me copy that link. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this into the chat for you, Eon. There's the Eon article. You hope the new demo's got a better player? That's hilarious, Hayes. <laughs> What's up, Purple Hayes? Great to see you, my man. I saw you here before. The guy playing the game is a, is a dingus torrent. Well, you haven't seen me play yet. <laughs> Yo, Spider, thank you so much for the host, Spider. MWA Spider. Spider, I saw you streaming this week. Unfortunately, um, I popped in for like literally like three minutes and I didn't have time to chat because I was getting ready to go out somewhere. But Spider, thank you so much for the host, dude. I hope you're doing well. Brother Bill, no worries, my dude. No worries, Brother Bill. I'm, I'm glad you're here. We'll see. We'll see if I can play better than that guy. That'd be funny. All right, Blitzways. Here we go. Copy link. I'm just gonna throw the link in here right now. Blitzways. Now, now you can see what I'm talking about. I hope you guys like the Amiga news section. It's taking a long time. To, <laughs> it's taking a really long time. To, it's good because people are going nuts in chat. Nuts in a good way. Head back to the Indie Retro News, Blitzways, a brand new Amiga 500 game from Sebastian Hartman. It's the Amiga's time to shine once more. Moving away from the Shadow of the Beast inspiration of Eon, we've been contacted through our email from the developer himself that Sebastian Hartman has announced the release of an Amiga game, Blitzways, a brand new Amiga game as an old school puzzler in the style of Mahjong or Lin Wu's challenge written entirely for the Amiga 500. Excellent. So we had, we had like pushed an AGA to the limits. Now we got one going OCS. I love it. Um, although development history can be found on the main website, I highly recommend reading it as it tells you about Blitzways and how it started its life way back in 1992. Wow. This started in 1992, many years in the making. Um, in, in, uh, in regards to the actual gameplay itself, it's a concentration demanding puzzle deconstruction game in the fashion of Mahjong and Lin Wu's Challenge. Let's take a quick peek at it. It's an Amiga 500 Plus. Oh, okay. It requires a 500 Plus. Little 1 megabyte of chip RAM there. Kickstart 2.0 or higher. That's so funny. I remember back in the day, I had on my 2000, I had a Kickstart 204, so a Kickstart 1.3 switch on it. Let's check out Blitzways. What's up, ZX Specky? Good evening to you. Brother Bill, I'm glad you're here, dude. I'm, I'm very glad you're here, Brother Bill. You, you're liking the games, Jiro? Awesome, dude. I'm digging the tunes. Oh, that was a crack trail? <laughs> was that a crack trail? I didn't, I didn't even get it. Ooh, nice music. This looks like it'll be a fun one. Sweet. That was like a nice one. Sweet. Blitzways. I dig it. Blitzways. There's the link again. Boom. That one's going to be fun. Puzzle games are cool. Puzzle games are cool. All right. How much more enemy news we got here? Um, I'm going to do two more quick ones here. This one looks hilarious. <laughs> Right. 
Chicken Chaser, an upcoming Amiga game from Korsny using the Red Pill Game Creator. Korsny is working on a brand new Amiga game called Chicken Chaser. The game developed using the Red Pill Game Creator is an upcoming action platformer in which you play as a cute little fox who has to collect all the eggs in the level while avoiding or fighting deadly chickens. <laughs> oh man. We got this is hilarious. Yo, Litwarski, thank you so much for the resub, Litwarski. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much, Litwarski. Brother Bill, can you give Litwarski a shout out, my man? Thank you, Brother Bill. Litwarski, thank you so much. Oh, and also can you shout out Spider as well, Brother Bill? Litwarski and Spider. Uh, Spider, thank you for the host. Litwarski, thank you so much for the resub. I re appreciate it so much, dude. Um What got released at Gubdata uh bitten? Oh, Blitzways. Oh, very cool. It's released now? That's awesome, dude. Oh. Brother Bill, thank you for the host. Shout yourself out, my man. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll have to play it next time, Bitten. Thank you for the heads up. Let's check out this chicken this chicken chaser. So you're the little fox down there. There's an evil chicken. I never knew I never knew chickens were evil before, but hey. In this game they are. It was the, I didn't just play it, Bitten. That was just a demo. That was a video that I was looking at. Yeah, I just showed it. I know, right, Cotter? Deadly chickens. <laughs> I love it. this song is not this song is not part of the game. I just love it. Thank you for shouting out Human Interact too, Brother Bill. Chicken Chaser, Chicken Techno. The, this music does not match the game. It's, the game is not, not vegan friendly. This will not be one to play with wife device. <laughs> uh, you know, this will be cool. I'll, I'm down to play some Chicken Chasing. Why not? Chicken Chaser. Chicken Chaser. I'll drop the link into the chat for you. Chicken Chaser, a new game from Corn Z. Chicken Chaser. I'm excited to play a puzzle game. What is the fox? It's a good question. It's a good question, Tenmark. Tenmark's asking what the fox is throwing at the chickens. It's a good question. <laughs> This, I mean, this Yogurt Lion Hall tune is one of the, one of the all-time greats. All right, one more piece of Amiga news, then we're gonna start playing some Amiga games. Uh, someone. Muso John, um, dude, yeah, Muso John, if you're in my um, if you're in my Discord, I can send you the the, the mods, no problem. Maybe, you know what I'll do too? Oh, that's not, that's, that's not the right link. Maybe I should, maybe for like subs and stuff, I should give them the, the, the mods. That'd be cool. That's a good idea. Um, Muso John, I can definitely get you a list. If you hit me up on that Discord, I will, I'll send you the list. No problem. Yeah, do you use the Yogur, Yogur, Yogur uh, compilations all the time? You are? It, it, they're still good, right? Yeah, I, I hear you, Muso John. I know. <laughs> There's, I, it can get, it can get confusing. I'm with you. Hey, what's up, world? Um, what's up, world, Mr. Gray? Oh, thank you, dude. Uh, this is a Canon C300. It's not, it's not a C300 Mark II, and it's not a Mark II. I do have a C300 Mark II, but the, but the one you're seeing right now is a Canon C300. It's a nice little camera. I like to see 300. It's a good camera. It's been, it's been. Uh, I mean, it's it's old now. It's three generations old now, but it looks good for streaming. Oh, Roar! Put Sweet Caroline to bed, and thanks for coming and popping into the stream, Roar. It's great to see you again, my man. Tell Caroline I said hello. All right, last piece of Amiga news, and it's an important one. 
Someone was asking about the state of Amiga emulation. The state of Amiga emulation is strong. Win UAE 4.4.0 just came out. WinUAE 4.4.0, another feature-packed Amiga emulator update, is now available for download. After a number of beats through the last few months with inclusive, notable changes, we have recently found out through the English Amiga board that Tony Weiland, creator of WinUAE, has released a brand new WinUAE version of 4.4.0 with bug fixes, new emulated hardware, and a large amount of improvements to take us through this month and beyond. Regarded as one of the best Amiga emulators and always being worked on by Tony, this release doesn't just have new emulated hardware such as Hardtail Dotto, is a clone of ICD, AD, IDE, but it also features, also has new features including 68030 MMU emulation optimizations and cycle accurate 6810 emulation. Oh wow, sweet. And there's a whole list of new features and improvements here. I mean, WinUAE was already amazing, so uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna upgrade, of course. <laughs> like, why not? WinUAE is, is probably the, it's probably the best Amiga emulator. I also love FSUAE, but you know, WinUAE is, WinUAE is probably the most powerful. It's, it's my go-to, especially when I'm like emulating to play a demo or something. Uh, WinUAE, obviously, and people use WinUAE to like develop Amiga games who don't even own a real Amiga. That's how accurate it is. It's incredible. So a new version of WinUAE has been dropped. And that is amazing. Huge thanks to Tony Weiland for his incredible work. I mean, WinUAE is just, WinUAE is an amazing, amazing piece of emulation software. It's incredible. Incredible. The, the, the Seath Rounder is an old one. But it's good. But it's good. You're running a three-year-old version of WinUAE yet, Hazemaker. You know what? I it's still even a three-year-old version is good. But why not? You know, it's free. A free upgrade. Why not? Walker Gr. What is up? Pixel Dawn says Tony Wilan is a beast. I I agree. I agree. Time to get a new WinUAE ZX Becky. Nice, dude. Yeah, dude, Mr. Mortal. I like FSUE a lot too. FSUE is really easy and quick to get up and running. Agreed. I I agree. I love F. They're both great. I think WinUAE might be the, like the deepest. <laughs> the most feature full um, and maybe maybe the most accurate but I'm a big FSUOE fan as well it's really easy to to get uh, FSUOE up and running I love it win UAE with chicken chaser for the win <laughs> coaxial cabal nice dude um, Jiro says thanks to win UAE every day of his life that is awesome win UAE is cool um, It's about time to start playing some games, guys. We're, we're an hour and 10 minutes into the stream. I haven't played a game yet. I apologize for that. Uh, the other thing about Mr. Uh, Mr. Gray, the other thing about this uh, this camera setup, is I have a pretty sweet lens for it, man. I got I got a, a Zeiss Distagon. I'm rocking it at F2. So that's why when I go like this, I get soft, and I get soft over here. I'm running a very a very shallow depth of field here. <laughs> because my room's small, you know what I'm saying? So I, I got to try and, try and max it out. Make it look as the best possible. What's up, Vamped Amiga? Great to see you, Vamped Amiga. Brother Bill, thank you for the link, dude. Appreciate that. Aztec Dogs ready for some games. So, guys, today is uh, a viewer request day. I want to show you something really, really cool. Um, Jiro, you can suggest a game, but it's really hard for me to take uh, games on demand because I have all I set everything up beforehand. Um, but you can you can request a game. Go for it. Doom Noob, you're loving the, the jams. This is, um, this is The Black Lamb by Hundinsky of Ladybird. The Black Lamb. Hack the planet, you know it, Poetic Android. So check it out. Check out my, my monitor setup here. I, I've, you know, I'm always trying to think, I've got some really amazing people who support me. Oram, <laughs> Oram. <laughs> there are a few people who, who probably deserve to be on this monitor now based on the beginning of the stream like Razer XG um, but I've, on Patreon you know I've got uh, th you know multiple levels of uh, patrons and uh, I want to do something a little special for, for the VIPs who like really I mean they give me a lot of money every month it's insane and I really appreciate them very much so I started putting stickers I, put, I started putting stickers on my monitor of the VIPs I got a couple more stickers I'm gonna place next week too um, I think there's some people who may not necessarily be VIP patrons, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put them on a monitor too. But I'm just I'm loving my new monitor, man. We got uh, see we got we got SR Baker up there in the upper right corner. Guru Meditation is you know my YouTube channel. I do it with my buddy Anthony. If I get more, you know I'll just take my own stickers off. Like who cares? 
Uh, but SR Baker's up there in the upper right corner. I mean, he's looking he's looking fly up there with that. He's got an epic beard. I love it. SR Baker, thank you so much for all the support. SR Baker, you rule. Uh, moving down left to right, we got we got Silly Maya in the lower left corner. Maya 82, thank you so much for for your support, Maya. You're you're incredible. And she wanted to make a disclaimer. That's not what she really looks like. She's making a funny face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, silly Maya down there making a silly face next to the Amiga logo. I love it. Coming further along to the left, we got Monster Joysticks. I got I got my Monster Joystick right here, and uh, it's a little bit sick right now, but I'm working with Monster Joysticks to get it repaired, and um, I appreciate all support, Monster Joysticks. Thank you. Thank you for being a VIP. Um, and there's me. I'll, again, if I get enough enough patrons, I will, uh, I'll get rid of my sticker. Who cares? You guys see enough of me here. Uh, then of course we got Retrobench. Retrobench, uh, amazing supporter of mine. Retrobench.com. Uh, I mean, what, I, I came, what can I say about Retrobench? The dude, the dude sends me snacks. He sends me snacks. <laughs> snacks, he sends me misters. Dude, I'm out of control. And then we got Lemon Amiga down there from a man, Sep Lemon Amiga and Pred State Lemon Amiga. Lemon Amiga, incredible website. Go get your fresh squeezed lemon. Go get your fresh squeezed Amiga goodness at LemonAmiga.com. <laughs> lemon Amiga is amazing. I, I, I use Lemon Amiga to help me with all my games and manuals and stuff. The joystick is really, really cool. Uh, what can't you see, Comatron? What can't you see? Thank you, Brother Bell, for throwing down that retro bench. Um, the monster, I know, I know. Cotter, you know, I dropped, I dropped it. I dropped the monster and it got a little bent. So um, we're going to fix the monster up. We'll fix it. But a huge thanks to, to all the VIP patrons. I hope you, I hope you enjoy that. Um, yo... Old Trafford 27, thank you for the follow. Retro Gaming Denmark, thank you so much for the follow. And uh, yeah, Litwarski again, thank you so much for the subscription. I, I appreciate that, Litwarski. You rock, dude. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Monster Joysticks. You'll get me back on track. I love my monster. It's all amazing. That monster stick's amazing. And we got some Greek sticks coming too. When the Greek sticks come, I'm going to put the Vintage Computer Society of Athens on the monitor as well. Because they've certainly earned a spot on the monitor. I just didn't have time to do it before the stream. And I figured I would coordinate it. Coordinate it with the arrival of my uh, my Greek sticks. Yo, Sigurborn. Thank you so much, Sigurborn. Oh my god. Dude, Sigur, you're awesome, dude. Good evening to you. And thank you so much for all the support, Sigur. You are an amazing dude. Thank you so much. You're gonna have to get a monster joystick, Muso John. They're they're great, man. They're great. Let's play some games. That was an epic. That was an that was a, that was a, that was a lot of Amiga news. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to go that long. But I also wasn't expecting everyone to. I wasn't expecting Razer XG and OROM to like lose their minds. <laughs> Speaking of support, if you want to be a Patreon, check it out. Here's my my July 2020 wallpaper. Um, that's my actual Amiga 500 that I photographed. Uh, you know, every month I uh, I give my patrons a new wallpaper. I give them to them in Amiga resolutions, Amiga IFF formats, as well as JPEG 16 by 9 for your modern modern computer which, whichever you choose to use i think i think this is looking pretty sweet this is a nice little wallpaper right here i like it alan sano 9 what is up um so check it out so i got some uh, amiga game requests from uh, from amiga sons and this is the part of the stream where it's going to start to go south a little bit because like i said this is a this is a holiday weekend here in in the in the usa and i've been holidaying a lot i'm not super prepared for this but they requested uh some uh, some indiana jones games now when you think of indiana jones you think of the adventure game right we're not going to play the adventure game today we're going to play some indiana jones action games and i want to start off with one that's like an isometric um it's an isometric Indiana Jones game, and I thought I was all ready for it. Went on to a Lemon Amiga. I read the manual, and then I realized, I realized when I read the manual that there's a second manual. There's like a, a card. There's a, a card that I could not access. There's a card that must have came with the game. I could not access the card, so I'm missing a lot of keystrokes. So we're gonna take a look at the game. You're not gonna see me play the game very well because <laughs> I don't, I don't have all the instructions for it. But um, we'll check it out. It'll give you a flavor for the game. And then if you want to check it out on your own, that'd be cool. And then we'll play a couple of more Indiana Jones games. And we're going to play some Alien Breed. It's going it's to be awesome. Um, you, guys, you guys like the background? Nice, dude. Um, Ovine. Ovine, thank you so much for the follow. Ovine, welcome to the stream. And Candy Gloss, thank you so much for the follow. If you're new to my streams, I'm Bill. I stream here once a week on Twitch every Sunday. 
at 2 p.m. Eastern time, which is 6 p.m. UTC. I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna start doing some midweek streaming too. I might you know I might do some bonus streams like on Wednesday, Tuesdays or Wednesdays. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, maybe I'll do some like other other platforms on those days and keep you know or something. I'll I'll do something. I don't know. Or maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do like just an Amiga news stream. Like today could be just an Amiga news stream. It's craziness. <laughs> Dude, check out those icons from Aztec Dog. How beautiful are those icons? He even took my actual compact flash card. Like this is the SanDisk one that I use, and I have like a little P Touch label on it with my name on it. Because when I go to VCF East, I don't want to get my compact flash card mixed up with other people's compact flash cards. He even put the P Touch label on it. Aztec Dog, my man. And he re he redid these icons. These are the ones that come with 3.1.4. Uh, but then he he. Uh, he, he fixed them so they work in um, high-res non-interlaced mode. So they're, they have the right aspect ratio for high-res non-interlaced because the ones that come with 314 are designed for working in high-res interlaced mode. And I don't do interlaced because too flickery. Too flickery. The Greek stick is on the way, guys, by the way. I cannot wait for the Greek stick. I'm all, you know, I love joysticks and I'm a big fan of choosing the right stick for the game because joysticks are like tools, you know. Some sticks are good for some games, some sticks are good for other games. Uh, today I'm going to be using my White Go Bat. I would be using the Monster Stick, but the Monster is a little sick. I tried your Switch, Monster Joystick. I tried doing the Switch thing, I think, and it didn't work. I think it's just the, I think that little circuit board, I sent you a message, I think that little circuit board is, is messed up. Oh, nice, Comatron. That's going to be awesome. Frodo NL, what's up, Frodo? Great to see you. Thank you, Doom Noob. Thank you. <laughs> I got, dude. I got my, I got my America shirt on. I got eagles. I got, I got eagles and flags on my shirt today. Freaking freedom intensified today. <laughs> Amiga Live, what's up, buddy? Great to see you, Amiga Live. Um, stream folder. There we go. So I'm gonna fire up this. This is um. This is Indiana Jones um, and the Secret of Atlantis, the action version. So there's two versions of this game. There's the adventure version and the action version. The adventure version is like the classic, the classic Indiana Jones game for the Amiga. And I think I need to do a stream like just on this adventure game so we can like really get into it. But I want to try out the action version because I'd never played the action version before. And it's like a, it's an isometric view game. And like I said, I'm missing part of the manual, so can't really play it so well. But we can we can get a taste. We can get a little taste of it. Thanks for the shout out, Brother Bill. <laughs> oh, you're the best, Brother Bill. Thank you for the shout out. You never heard Top Fuel of the action one? I never heard of the action one either. That's why I wanted to check it out. This will give you a taste of it. Amiga Eagle shirt, yeah. <laughs> the Secret of Atlantis, yeah, Doom Noob. This, the, the, um, that, the action, the adventure version, like I said, it's one of the all time great Amiga games, but this action version I'd never played before. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, the action version. Here we go. There's like a cool, like a cool comic book opening here. Oh, look, this bad guy is like at a fortune teller, and there's some kind of uh, trophy there. He steal. Looks like he stole the trophy from the fortune teller. Is that possible? Oh, he tried to steal the trophy, and this guy put a, a gun to the back of his head. Interesting. Oh, and now he's putting a gun to the fortune teller, stealing, stealing the idol, stealing the idol from the. What a punk! What a punk. He went to some kind of power plant or some nuclear facility. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, he brought he brought it. He brought it to um, a bad guy. They took they took uh, a green some sort of green emerald out of the trophy. Interesting. Oh no, and he melted No way. The bad guy just melted the trophy. Took the green out of it, melted the trophy. Now that there's a uh, this dude and this woman, they're going somewhere. <laughs> it's a hard, this is a hard story to follow, guys. <laughs> I can read, I can read you the background of the story if you want, because based on the comic book, it's a little bit, a little bit hard to tell what's going on. We know um, that that idol. 
was stolen. It seems to be melted down. Um, and now, and now I'm sure, I'm sure we have to go find it because he took, he took the green, the green power. What's up, Amiga Live? Indiana Jones and the Fate of Monkey Island, hilarious. So yeah, so check it out, guys. This is like a. What's up, George? How's it going, my man? This is like I said, it's an isometric, uh, top-down game, so it's pretty rad. And the cool thing is, like, you can actually change camera angles, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, it's a very, very cool feature of this game. Um, do you guys want to know what the real story is? What's up, man? Oh yeah. So, uh, my wife is bringing in cookies. What's up, babe? You want to say hi? You can say, say yeah. I can go full screen here. Yeah, hold on here. There you are. There you are. Okay. She brought me cookies. Okay. Thanks, babe. Bye. Love you. It's a raw carrot cookie. Amazing. Uh, no, because she's gonna come in and bother me. Um, hi. nice. Everyone says hi. This is on the ZX Spectrum Retro Gaming Denmark. Nice. Mmm. Oh man, this is really good. Wife device rules Comatron. She's super sweet. I love her. We're going on a picnic after the stream. Yeah, vegan cookies. Exactly, Lucas. Thanks, Bobby Zeal. Ten mark. There's there's enough for everyone. If you come get them, uh, there'll be plenty for you. <laughs> oh. So basically, um, what's happening here is um. What? I am interested in reading the story a little bit. Alan San. Yeah, these are um, these are carrot cookies. They're so good. Oh man, they're so good. Thanks, Amiga Live. Thank you. Oh, as Talk Dog says, follow Wife Device on Instagram. Her Instagram, her Instagram is amazing. Yo, Tellybug, dude, Tellybug. Thank you so much for a subscription, Tellybug. I appreciate that very, very much, Tellybug. Thank you, thank you so much for the support. <laughs> You're gonna put the rep the the recipe in a Star Trek up later. Hilarious. Um, I should I should uh one second. Since you mentioned since you mentioned my wife's Instagram, I'll, I'll drop it into the chat. Um. So, I'm a little bit curious about the story here. Um, I'm going to read the story, the Indiana Jones story to you. Um, the year is 1938, because I want to know what happened. I want to know what happened in that opening. The year is 1938. Indiana Jones' famed archaeologist adventurer has come across two artifacts, a minotaur statuette and a mysterious bead. He believes they might be evidence that Atlantis did, in fact, exist. When the artifacts are stolen, Indy discovers that the thief has been carrying a magazine article about a psychic specializing in the lore of Atlantis. Madame Sophia turns out to be Sophia Hapgood, a longtime colleague of India's. Okay, got of Indies. Okay, got you. So the the um the psychic was Sophia Hapgood, and she's in the game. You play with her. Uh, Indy finds Sophia in New York City, where the thief appears again. This time, relieving Sophia of her artifact. Um, despite his skepticism about Sophie's mysterious approach to Atlantis, Indy agrees to let her accompany him in his search for the fabled island. Um, Indy and Sophie have no way of knowing that the thief is Klaus Kerner, <laughs> um, a top Nazi agent working for Dr. Han Hans Uberman. Using the stolen artifacts in one of the beads, called the Oracle Callum, Uberman confirms his theories regarding the incredible energy stored in the beads. Kerner is dispatched on a hunt for the presumed source of the bead um, and Atlantis. So Indiana Jones is trying to find Atlantis and the bead. In the meantime, Indy and Sophia have made their way to Monte Carlo, seeking on Alan Trottier, a dealer in antiques who they hope can help them in their race against the Nazis to discover the fate of Atlantis. Okay, that is a little bit of a strange story, a little bit hard to read, but that's the, that's the gist of it. So we're in Monte Carlo, and we need to find we need we need to find the bead. We need to find Atlantis and the bead, and and beat the Nazis. Good, <laughs> Hans Uberman, <laughs> right? I'm reading this on LemonAmiga.com, by the way. That's the, this is the manual. This is the manual. But I, I said I'm missing part of the manual. 
There's the story right there. Here we go, let's play. The Last Crusade is the best uh, me game. Uh, Rich, Rich, I don't know about that. We'll see. Why is Sophia blonde? Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of. This is the demo, Bitten. This is the demo. So as you can see, you can play as Sophia, uh, or you can play as Indiana Jones. <laughs> let's, let's start. Let's start the game. Bobby, you missed the days where you had to read the manual to get the story. I kind of got the gist of the story based on the comic opening, but not quite. And check it out. So, 0B. I have to line it up on my code wheel. Well, hold on. Okay, I got it. I got it. A, A is correct. <laughs> you missed a CRT blur, George. You got a VHS camera. Alright, so here we are in the casino. Um, in the upper left corner, we have a compass, which shows our direction. Below that, there's a stopwatch. Some of the the game has like these timed moments where you have to complete a task in a specific period of time. It shows you that right now we are controlling Indiana Jones. Uh, we can also control Sophia. We're in the casino. Um, stop, I guess, means you stop. Okay, so so Sophia is doing her thing, and you can tell her to stop, so she can just like chill out, or she can keep doing her thing. The the green sine wave is her health, so green is good. When she gets uh, hurt, she turns orange. Um, there's our score. I think that the numbers are our score. Um, the fist is our weapon. Right now, you know, our, we're like Mike Tyson, man. Like our fists are registered weapons, like Bruce Lee. And then the, uh, the thermometer there in the upper right is our health. You had, as talk, you had Van Damme and Kim Basinger posters everywhere. Nice, dude. Indy does look a little grumpy. If you tell her to stop, is it hammer time? <laughs> he looks like Humphrey Bogart. Nice one. Oh, steps. That's so classic. So if I press the button, I jump. If I push down on the joystick, I throw a punch. And then I can spin around. Boom. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let's, let's walk around and see what's going on here. So up walks forward. Right spins you to the right. Left spins you to the left. Down punches, and the button makes you jump. Cool. But here's the coolest part of this game, guys. Um, if you use the F keys, you can get different camera angles. And this, so there's camera A, camera B. Oh, done. Okay, cool. We're good here. Um, so we got camera, we got camera A, camera A. Whoa, whoa. We got, whoa. Camera A? That's like camera C. Camera D. Craziness. But that's rad. We got multiple camera angles. I love it. So, boom. A. B. C. D. We got four camera angles, ladies and gentlemen. Four camera angles. Uh, I like I like we got some multiple camera operators on the job here. Uh, it's good good to spread the work around. We could we could all use the work <laughs> during these COVID times. But that is really cool. The thermometer tells you when Indy's got the Rona. <laughs> that is so cool. Maybe, maybe I'll do, um, maybe I'll do another, uh, another CRT stream. We'll, we'll see, George. I do have my CRT working over there in the background, playing some, playing Viva Amiga. Lisa, good 1980. What is up, Lisa? Good evening to you. The casino's empty because of social distancing. Yeah, I know, right? It's a pretty empty casino. I really miss the shoots, Brother Bill. I, you know, watching Hamilton brought back some, some good memories. Oh, here's a bad guy. It brought back some good memories, and it made me, it made me want to work so bad. <laughs> oh, man. George, I could, you know, I could do a thing where I can stream from a, a CRT and a... Uh, and, and Amiga simultaneously. Lisa Good, thank you so much. Uh, Lisa Good, 1980. Lisa, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, welcome to the stream. 
I'm Bill streaming Amiga stuff here once a week on Twitch every Sunday 2 p.m. Eastern Time 6 p.m. UTC right now we are playing a viewer requested game from Amiga Suns they said we want to play anything anything Indiana Jones so this is the action version of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis there's also an adventure version which is one of the best Amiga games of all time um, I'm gonna hold on I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this guy's coming at me hard this guy's coming at me oh we can, can we talk to her I like her uh, the sleeves I like her, her arm sleeves Here's a lounge. I know we're probably going to have to get some money. We're going to have to do a little gambling. So, I mean, even though they call us the action game, there's certainly some adventure elements to it, for sure. Can you guys hear the murmur of the casino? There's a lot, like, it's pretty loud in my headphones, considering the, the lack of patrons here. Yeah, I can go make a bet on the roulette wheel. I can. But the thing is, I don't know if I have any money yet. Can I talk to her? How do you talk? Space bar? No, don't punch her. I don't I don't want to punch. Her. I didn't mean to punch her. That was terrible. <laughs> I don't know the keys. I'm sorry. No, I don't want to restart the game. I I'm sorry, miss. I that was really that was that was rude. That was rude. <laughs> Indy Indy, you're a jerk. You are a jerk, Indy. That that was that was not nice. <laughs> Oh man, you can you can hear the murmur, Doom Noob. Nice. Immediate ban from Twitch. It was accidental. It was, I hit return. It was accidental. I did, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> you know, I can look at the key mappings. Cause the problem is, I have the manual here. Apparently, so return throws a punch. I, at least she's still walking around. She's probably gonna, you know. Oh, oh, I can change to the whip. Do I have a whip? Oh, now I got the whip. Yeah. I didn't even know I had the whip. The problem is, so I read the manual and there's a there's a sub manual. There's like a little note card that's got all the keystrokes on it. And um, I love how you can change camera angles. And I don't have I don't have the note card, which as I realized right before the stream, uh, let's define the keys. I steps I totally I totally didn't mean it that was terrible define keys new reset oh man I wish it just showed me I just wish it showed me like what the keys were so if I knew what the keys were oh man if I knew what the keys were then I would know um new all right so Q all right I'll just do Q T tab is the punch O turns you around P turns you the other way. Okay, I got it. A is a jump, but D crouches. Okay. Okay, so good. Plus will change characters. Now we know. Now we know. Oh. Oh boy. Q. Tab. O. P. A. D. Don't hit shift. There's shift. Yeah. Shift was flat. Reset. At least I know how to change characters now. Keep away with her, from her with that whip. Totally. I'm done. Done. <laughs> whip the lady. I know. I know. I know. Uh, Ten mark. I didn't. I didn't mean to. Uh, I didn't mean. I definitely didn't mean to punch her. But apparently, apparently, uh, enter lets you punch. But here's the thing. So we can. These guys, these are bad guys, right? So, uh, and apparently in this game, chocolate makes you stronger. See? He dropped chocolate. It sounds crazy, but I just whipped him. And he dropped chocolate. You can see I got I got a piece of chocolate now. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Dude, how bizarre is that? Oh, he's come. You want more, huh? You want more of that? <laughs> this guy's like... Maybe maybe these folks in this casino in Monte Carlo are like Fifty Shades of Grey type of folks. You know what I mean? Because like she didn't seem to get too upset when I when I hit her. I mean, I felt really bad about it. But maybe now like maybe she's gonna like the whip. Maybe this that guy liked the whip. He I whipped him and he gave me chocolate. This dude likes the whip. <laughs> I don't human interact. I don't I don't know what you what you mean by the, by the question. Um, Hey, Lady A, Lady A, thank you so much for the raid. Lady A is an amazing streamer. She plays lots of Apple stuff. I had an Apple IIe back in the day. Uh, Lady A, thank you so much for the raid. Brother Bell, can you shout out um, Q 
Can you shout out Lady A? I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Lady Irulos. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. But Lady A, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, thank you for hanging out, Lady A. Lady A has been raiding me a lot lately, and I really appreciate you, Lady A. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Sigur just made a clip. In the action game, controls lead to violence. I, I feel really, I feel really bad. I, I did not, I did not mean, I did not mean to punch her. I, I feel really, I actually, I feel guilty about that. Indiana Jones in the early onset of diabetes. It is strange. It is strange that chocolate, chocolate is, uh, you know, is makes you healthier here. Let's go upstairs. And I love, I love how you can change um, camera angles. Lady A, we are playing uh, an Indiana Jones game. It is the action version of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Atlantis. Um, we are currently in Monte Carlo. I think I can change characters here. Boom. Yes, we can play as Sophia or we can play as Indiana Jones. Um, oh, oh, Lady A, her, look at her weapon. Um, Lady Sophia, I'm sorry, Sophia's weapon is her, is her high heel shoe. Whoa, whoa, that is crazy. P. Cotter, you do get rewarded, yet when you whip people in this game, they drop chocolate. <laughs> Apple, st I missed that, uh, um, Apple stuff is great, dude, Lady A is awesome. Lady A, Lady A is a great streamer, and it's it's cool to see people streaming Apple stuff because there's not a lot of Apple streamers here on Twitch, so I appreciate it. Oh, dude, this guy's punching! Dude, come on, get away from her! Oh, and this guy, oh, see that guy dropped money. Nice. The other guy dropped chocolate. This guy, I'm gonna keep kicking him. <laughs> Leave her alone, you punk. Now he dropped chocolate. So he dropped money and chocolate. I know. She knows She knows where to kick him, Tenmark. She knows. <sighs> Let me out of here, punk. go up the stairs I do I do like the isometric views um, I like them a lot and I like being able to change camera angles that's cool this it's so funny cause, like everyone's like mean in this game it's like I've never been in a casino where like everyone attacks you and you need to like fight your way through the casino it's I don't know man I maybe that's how they roll in Monte Carlo I don't know but that's not how they roll here like everyone's attacking you here <laughs> leave the chocolate gives you the chocolate gives you uh, energy it gives you health don't hit, don't hit, you punk. All right, so I just got some chocolate. How do I change weapons here? Uh, there's Indy. Sophie. This is just nuts. This. I guess when you keep kicking the guy, like he drops his chocolate, he drops some money. Just leave her alone. Like, what? Seriously, what did she do to you, punk? Well, and Indy's, Indy should go like help her out. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Razor XG with more bits. Razor XG, you are insane in the membrane. Razor's insane. Got no brain, dude. Crazy. This is not a Bitmap Brothers game, Amiga Live. No. Um, dude, Razor XG, thank you so much. Speedball too. <laughs> Ice cream and chocolate, it's good to get together. Razor XG, dude, you're crazy, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> what did you watch today, Junior? I know, right? And this was like requested by a kid too. Um, Peacock, you have to play this game, seems very relaxing. Razor XG, do you want me to play Speedball too? Is... You watched a stream with whips and high heels. Yes, Tenmark. <laughs> dude, you, you know, like, hey. Locust just dropped a link. Nice. Yo, Razor XG, seriously, dude. Thank you so much. You're you're amazing. Ra Ra <laughs> Razor just did some. Razor did some yoga. He wants to. Uh, he's he's playing some uh, some Cypress Hill. He's all ready for 4:20 p.m. Amiga 1200 gamer, what is up, Amiga 1200 gamer? You're uh, you're not that late, man. We're playing the first game. There's a lot of Amiga news going down. Uh, we're playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis action version. Uh, so far, we've got we've we've used whips on people. We got chocolate, um, and we used high heels. We used high heels to defend ourselves. We used whips and we used chocolate. 
Um, we eat chocolate for health, and, and we, we whip people to keep them away from us in the casino. Um, how can I... Okay, space bar looks like it selects the... Sophia is orange. See, Sophia is orange down there. She's, she's a little bit not healthy. Go. I, I, um, I tried to read the manual to this game before, and I do have the manual, but there's like a special note card that had all the key bindings, and uh, I couldn't find that. Oh, Texas footballer. Uh, dude, Texas footballer. I love Sidewinder. I was actually thinking of playing Sidewinder today, actually, Texas footballer. I love Sidewinder. It's one of my favorite Amiga 500 games. I love it. To be fair, this wasn't the game the kid requested. It agreed, Sigor, he, Amiga Sun said I'll pl play any Amiga, play any Amiga Indiana Jones game, and I just picked this one because I'd never played it before, and it was it was arcadey. So, it's not that arcadey though. <laughs> Whips, high heels, and chocolate. What's your name exactly, Amiga Twelve Hundred Gamer? <laughs> no problem, Retro Ralph. You can still hear the sidewinder explosion in your head bitten. I love that's one of the best explosion sounds of all time. Um, I'm gonna go just whip someone again, and then we'll, we'll go on to the next Indiana Jones game, which um, hopefully will be more kid-friendly. <laughs> the Crusade action game is more arcadey. Sigurborn, you were talking about these games in my Discord, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna play that one next. Retro uh, Gaming Denmark, um, are you an Apple II streamer as well? I, w I need to... Um, how do you guys stream from your Apple II? I'm, I'm very curious about the output on it. Yeah, show was boss indie. Swoops Swip, over to the whip. I just whipped him and he dropped chocolate. <laughs> this game is nuts. Oh, the speedball two punching sounds. Maybe he must stick. Maybe that's what that's about. Locust, you doubt anyone ever played this game before? Yo, Skeptabot, thank you so much for the follow, Skeptabot. We're playing uh, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis action version. And uh, we are in a casino in Monte Carlo. And I don't know why the guards just keep attacking us. And, uh, you know, we have to whip them and kick them in the shins every now and then. Crazy. You never heard of this and you're a fan? Oh, yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a rare one, you know what I mean? Oh, you use uh, RGB or VGA. Got it, Retro Gaming Denmark. Cool. Bitbill beat this game last year live on Twitch. Oh, wow, Hayes. That's awesome. If I, if, I, if I had the other instruction manual, I would be able to play it better. But, I mean, this just gives you a flavor. It gives you a flavor of the game. And my, my favorite part is, is the, the changing the camera angles. That's really cool. There's four camera angles in this game. Um, there, I read some reviews of this game, and everyone's like, you know, like it's cool. The isometric view is cool. It's a different take on an action game. Um, it's amazing how you can change camera angles, but uh, the game itself is a little bit questionable, as we're seeing. Oh, got you. Lady, yeah, I'd be very interested to see how you guys stream the Apple II. That's really, really cool. Oh, the odd. Ah, the odd ah does sound very speedball, too. Agreed. Agreed. Although, it is, it is fun just to go around and, and whip random people in, in the arcade. I mean, in the casino. And take their and take their chocolate. <laughs> How we, dude? Whose idea? Like, what if they're like, yeah, like we're gonna, you can like start out in a, in a, in a casino in Monte Carlo, and all the enemies carry chocolate, <laughs> and when you whip them, they drop chocolate, and the chocolate gives you more health. Craziness. And they drop money too. This game, I mean, this game is just nuts. This game is just nuts. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, what's up, a Maple Mystery? Great to see you, Maple Mystery. Uh, this is uh, it's a good it's a good question, Comatron. I'm not sure if it's OCS, but it sure looks like it. I'll check the Lemon Amiga. Um, yeah, Maple Mystery. This is kind of up your alley. This is an action adventure game. The you know Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis is a classic adventure game on the Amiga. This is not that game. This is the the action. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Nothing, nothing confusing about that, right? They have two games with identical names, but they have the adventure version and the action version. This is the action version. 
you can play as two different characters. So uh, we can also switch over to Sophia. Uh, last that we saw of Sophia, she was upstairs. The guards were attacking her, and uh, she kicked them. She kicked them where it counts with her high-heeled shoes. Uh, but she's a little. She's, you can see the orange health bar down there for Sophia. She's a little bit. Um, she got a little bit beat up herself. <laughs> Strange game. Uh, this this game is weird. Weird. Sep Lemon Amiga, what is up, my dude? Great to see you, Sep. Ten Mark, I'm so excited for your art competition. As soon as you know, as soon as it's ready, of course I'm I'm sure I'll see it. But when it's ready, you know, give me the info so I can d do it in my Amiga News section and all that good stuff. No, it's definitely chocolate, Comatron. It's and it's not. It could be, you know, it could be, you know, it could be marijuana chocolate. Could be, could be, you know. I mean, I don't know. But I don't think so, because that wouldn't necessarily boost your health. It would take it away. Yo, Brother Bill, thank you for gifting a Tier 1 sub to Retro Gaming Denmark, Brother Bill. Brother Bill's gifted 43 subs. That is crazy. Yeah, this is not AJ. You can tell by the four colors being used. Exactly, Haze Maker. Um, thank you so much, Brother Bill. That's awesome. Grand Theft Jones 4. Hilarious, Comatron. Yeah, the adventure one you know. This game is so chill. Somehow, Maple Mystery. Maple Mystery. It could be, it could be um, like the murmur in the background. Um, you're at work again, Sep Lemon Amiga? All vacation's over. Sep, dude, thank you so much uh, for all your support, Sep. And I got I got your sticker pack ready. I'm going to send you stickers, and you can give... I'm going to send you lots of stickers, and then you can give some to Pred Seda as well. The ambient sounds, the footsteps, the sepia tone, relaxing. Exactly. Um... Oh, yeah, and Monte Carlo better be good Swiss chocolate. Good point. <laughs> uh, Mabel Mystery, she's amazing. Uh, Mabel Mystery is... Um, her streams are great. I'm sorry I missed your streams this week, Mabel Mystery. But she's working on a new adventure game for uh, like for vintage PC. And uh, she she makes her own EGA graphics, which is super cool. I think I'm going to do a bonus stream. One, what, Mabel Mystery, when your game is... When you're ready, let me know. Mabel Mystery and Dan will come on. My Dan Pollocker from... Um, Long Island Retro Gaming Festival. He'll come on. He's doing the music for it. They're making this really cool like EGA adventure game. And I, you know how, if you watch my streams, you know that I love converting images, like modern images that I take with my my professional camera to like Amiga 16 color mode or ham mode. And she takes images and converts them to like EGA, and it looks so cool. <laughs> like so, I wanna I wanna have you on, and when you're when you're ready, and uh, I would love to check out your game on the stream, and I would also love you to show your technique that you use for making EGA graphics. That's super, super uh, cool. Like I said, I, I do, I love converting images to Amiga formats, so it'd be really cool to see how you do your EGA. Your palette management is amazing. It's so good. Some of some of the stuff that I've seen you convert on your stream is, um, it looks even better than the original. Brother Bill, can you shout out, can you shout out a Maple Mystery, please? You, you wanna come on the stream? There she, see, that's, that's the, uh, stop it. Why is everyone so violent in this casino? That see she's making that's one of her see her her emoji right there it's pretty rad. You're welcome, my Maple Mystery. You are welcome. It's whenever you're ready, like when you feel the game is ready and you want to show it, um, just let me know and we'll do like a I'll do like a special stream and we'll just have you and Dan on. We'll talk about your game and how you make the graphics for it, which is like super intriguing to me. All right, I'm ready to go on to the next game. I'm ready to move on to the next game, guys. So this gives you a taste of this Indiana Jones game. It's weird. It, it's, it looks like it could be cool. I really need to find the proper instruction manual for it so I know how to play it better. But I want to show you guys and give you a taste. We're going to move on to the next Indiana Jones game. Next Indiana Jones game. We're doing all Indiana Jones um, action versions of the games. So Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade action. Here we go. Here we go. Amigos, what, Amigos Retro Gaming. What is up, Amigos Retro Gaming? Amigos likes to watch indie whoop dudes with the whip while roulette guy calmly waits for customers. Amigos, I um, I gave a big shout out for you know Amigathon, which I'm very excited about. Amigathon coming up July 18th. I got something really really cool planned. I, I, I'm gonna do hardcore gaming. I'm gonna do hardcore gaming for your for my part of the Amigathon, amigos. There's some there's something I've always wanted to do. On stream, I've never achieved it. On Saturday, July 18th, I will achieve it for the kids. For the kids, we're doing it, amigos. We're gonna do it, amigos. I'm. I just wish I wish I wish the 18th was tomorrow. I'm so excited 
I'm so excited. We're gonna we're gonna kick some butt for the kids, baby. <laughs> you just bought the last crusade on Steam yesterday? Oh nice Maple Mystery. You wish the Steam version was a EGA? I'm sure you do, Maple Mystery. CJ Graphics Adventure reminds you of that. Oh, oh I never played that one, uh, Lucas. Nice. The Cross of Coronado. So this is a more of a, tr a traditional, oh, so we're the kid. Remember at the beginning of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, it's a great game. You're the kid. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, look out, look out for the falling rocks. I like the, uh, I like the little black and white Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones down there. That's cool. Whoa. That knife didn't hit me. No way. Come on, punk. Oh, wow. Wow. Amigos Retro Gaming, thank you so much for the sub, Amigos. Amigos rule. Twitch and YouTube streamers extraordinaire. Amigos uh, are hosting the Amigathon on July 18th over here on their Twitch channel. Drop your link right there, Amigos Retro Gaming, because I've uh, I dropped it before, but make sure you um, drop it again. It's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing day. Amigos are doing they have an art competition, they're doing all kinds of cool stuff. Um, they're gonna take a two hour break, throw it over to the retro man cave, come back. They're gonna take another break, throw it over to me. Then we're gonna throw it back to the Amigos for the grand finale. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you for the support, Amigos. Yeah, it was River Phoenix. Yes, River Phoenix did play the kid. You're right. Um, this is an arcade. This is an arcade game. Um, Maple Mystery. Yeah. EJ is fantastic, Leaf. Some of the dithering uh, work being done on later EJ titles was truly uh, fantastic. Leaf, you should check out Maple Mystery's EGA work. Like she, her dithering is freaking awesome. The stuff she's creating for her game is, is beautiful. Oh, Young and Indiana Jones was great, amigos. You're right. That was a really good one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with this guy because he's got a knife and I don't. <laughs> It looks like I need to get more more fire more fire for my uh my torch because it's getting dark in here. Okay, cool. Stuff's falling from the top. Oh man, that hurt. Here we go. Let's get this. I got a whip. Yeah, baby. I got a whip. Whoa, I got a whip and this guy's got a gun? That's not fair. There's a torch up there. Can I get this torch? Come on, get the torch, Indy. And I'm dead. We're not exactly playing the best Amiga games today, everyone. It does, I think he was kind of dressed as a Boy Scout in, in the movie, from what I recall. Yeah, River Phoenix is, is one of the best action movies I've ever seen. It is, it is great, Maple Mystery. I, I love the movie very much. There you go, um, Amigos, Amigos, dro and Amigos, drop the link to your, your stream as well. I went onto your website before. You guys already raised like 600 bucks. It's awesome. Um, Amigos are great. You find their perspective on European micros interesting, says uh, Retro Gaming Denmark. Yeah, because the Amigos do uh, some, some European streams as well on those, those crazy, weird, wild European computers. Yeah, so I'm going to avoid I'm gonna avoid the knife thrower. Oh. Oh, man. Avoid this guy. I'm not going to mess with this guy. He's got a knife and I got a foot. <laughs> it's not a good fight. It's like, remember the Untouchables? Like who brings who brings a knife to a gunfight? You've played this one poetic? Nice. I should uh, you know, I should um I would I should submit a piece of artwork to your uh, amigos stream as well, but instead I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stream. I like how I like how the, the whip glows. That's cool. I don't know how to get up there. I don't know how to get up there. I can try. I mean, this is the obvious choice right here. Climb up the rope. Go right. Oh, there. Okay. Whoa. The floor falls out from under me. Okay, got it. Let's get this. Perfect. Lights back on. Drop down here. Cool. Getting the hang of this one. 
The nice hitting say <laughs> a boy scout with a gun would be scary. Agreed. Fair point. Fair play in retro gaming, Denmark. But I mean, that was really nasty. Like, I'm still bummed out. I still feel really bad about you know my my behavior in in the casino, in uh, in Monte Carlo. I didn't mean to punch that woman. That was, that was I felt terrible. She was just coming up, trying to say hi, and freaking punch her like a jerk. I like oh. This is not the best of Amiga stream today. <laughs> sneakers. Oh, Sneakers is an awesome one. I love Sneakers. Yeah, Sneakers with River Phoenix and Robert Redford, Maple Mystery. My, uh, it's so funny. This is a hacker movie, one of your favorites. That, that is a great one, Maple Mystery. It's so funny. My buddy, my buddy Zach, who I work with, he, uh, he loves River Phoenix so much that he and his wife named their kid River after River Phoenix. And Joachim, Joachim is is no no slouch either. <laughs> he he's quite oh, dead. Yeah, the game this game does have stamina. You don't you're not into Robert Redford movies. I mean, some of them are good, some aren't. <laughs> uh, Fredo says if you think European systems are weird, I'm just joking about that, by the way. Um, you should check out this morning's ARG Presents. Um, oh, this morning's Amigo, is that Amigos Retro Gaming Presents? I just I just joke around because uh, my friends um, Thierry Mazzolini and uh, Jeremy Marson from Double Sided Games they do uh, a really cool European computer exhibit every year at uh, at BCF East, and uh, I think my favorite one is the Alice. The Alice that that is a French computer. Uh, it is all red and it's beautiful. It is, it is beautiful. I love the Alice. I don't, is it a good computer? I don't know, but it's a uh, it's cool looking computer. The Alice and and the fact that it's called the Alice is just awesome. Love me the Alice. I'm glad these guys don't shoot low. I'm glad they don't shoot low, but they still they still beat me. They still killed me. The best thing in the game is the digitized Dr. Jones. I agree, Sep Lemon Amiga. I agree. <laughs> the 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 Harrison Ford in the lower right corner is the best thing about this game. I agreed. Oh, it's an FM7 episode? Oh. The Blu-ray, you tell you about I love you know, I it's so weird. I have I've got a Blu-ray player and I Blu-ray is, is a beautiful format and I haven't bought any Blu-rays. I've been getting lazy, man. I've been streaming everything. You you knew I was joking. Okay, good. You watch the Amigos on Mondays. I usually, I, I try and tune in on a Friday, but it's really hard. Friday nights are tricky for me. Ah, the Alice is the French version of the Tandy Micro Color Computer. Got it, Frodo. Thank you. George, I have no idea what URL you just dropped down there, but it's long and crazy and awesome like you. <laughs> oh. You know what, guys? I got to... I drank a lot of coffee before the stream, and I need to, I need to use the boys' room really badly. I'll be I'll be back like very very soon. I promise. I tried to survive a little bit longer. I, I couldn't I couldn't. I'll be I'll be back in two seconds. Um. Oh, that's a picture search to the Alice. Ah, got it. Let's see. There's the. I'll leave the. I'll leave you guys with the Alice, and I'll I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, and I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail.
Sorry about that. I'm back. It's so funny. Um, Amiga Dad, who I, I changed his screen name to Amiga Dad, so it's, it's proper. Um, he always gives me a hard time. He's like, you went, you went to the bathroom during the stream. I'm like, Dad, like I stream for like four hours. I have to go to the bathroom. I drink water. I drink coffee. I drink all kinds of stuff. It's like I'm a human being. <laughs> I taught him. I also, I, I'm sure he's watching today, but I haven't seen him in the chat. I love Beverly Hills Cop Razor XG. The Alice is a really cool looking computer, isn't it? I mean, I love red and black. Red and black are like my favorite colors. So, um, natural, it's natural that I, that I like the, the, uh, the Alice. That's the way Thierry says it, the Alice. You gotta go, you gotta go. You know it, Oram. What's up, Mantle Fox? Thank you. Um, if, whenever I get back, my hands are always wet because I don't, I, I take the time to wash them with soap and all that stuff. But I don't, uh, I don't, I get, I want to get back so fast that I don't necessarily, um, dry them to the, the best. No worries, Smash 1980. No worries, dude. Keep a mason jar on your desk for the emergencies, 10 mark. I have to be careful because as you can see, I use a mason jar for my water. So I wouldn't want to get them confused. Yo, MadMoss619. Thank you so much for the follow, MadMoss. Appreciate you, my man. Um, Dune Noob, the... Mantle Ferox, thank you. Mantle Ferox, thank you so much for the subscription. Uh, I appreciate that. That's really, really, really kind of you. He says, um, Mantle says, hey, sorry I wasn't able to swing by sooner, but I entered to be sure to catch you today. Oh, thank you, Mantle. That's super kind of you, man. And, um, oh, 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 that, that, um, Brother Bill gifted you that sub. Brother Bill, dude, Brother Bill. Thank you, my man. Thank you. Indy's been patiently waiting for my turn. Yeah, yeah. Don't drink from the warm one. You're right, Sr. Baker. Sr. Baker, how do you like your sticker up there? Maya, Maya, and Sr. Baker, do you like your stickers? Do you like your, you like your VIP monitor stickers? So I'm going to, I'm going to play this game for like another two minutes, and then we're going to move on to the next one. What do you guys think of this game? This is not, this is not, certainly not like a best of Amiga stream today. Amigos, so amigos, um, you love it? Oh, awesome, SR Baker. You are a big part of the show, dude. I, I appreciate all your support. Oh, I, I ran out of time. You know what? All right. That's enough of that game. <laughs> I'm sure if I get into it, it's good, but cool. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Um, so, so for Amiga Sons, just so for Amiga Sons, so far, I think you should stick with the original, you know, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis adventure game. The one, the action version that looks kind of cool, I don't like the way you treat the ladies in it. I don't like the way you treat the other patrons. Um, but <laughs> um, it looks like it's got potential. You know, once you learn the game, I'm sure you can play it the proper way and treat everyone nicely. Um, speaking of, speaking of, of um, not quite as action focused as you would imagine, exactly, Doom Noob. What, what did you, uh, what did you throw down there, Razor XG? Razor XG. Razor XG being that you, hey, you like Oh yeah, nice. Beverly Hills Cop, Axel Foley, yo baby, yo baby, yo nice. I can't show it on stream Razor XG because I'll probably get flagged for a copyright, but that's a good one. Thank you, Razor XG. It's indie, you can't not like it. Uh, fair enough, April it might be a mystery, fair enough. It feels a little more eight bit than sixteen bit. Yeah, Pixel is a weird one. It's a weird one. Hazemaker says jank. Yeah, George loves it. Yeah, it's an interesting one. The indie arcade game is pretty fun. That, amigos, that's what we're gonna play right now. That's what we're, we're gonna play right now. Um, Fate of Atlantis is your favorite computer game of all time. Oh, nice, dude. I mean, wait, the one, the action version or the adventure version? I imagine you're you're talking about the adventure version. It was an Indiana Jones thing, not made in the two thousands, which means I like it. Nice, Maple Mystery. <laughs> so, Logos says, anyone recalls the Temple of Doom Commodore sixty four game? We're gonna play Temple of Doom Amiga version which is probably even worse than the Commodore 64 version. <laughs> Although the Amigos seem to like it. Uh, so Amigos, since you're here, Amigos Retro Gaming, my plan my plan for the Amigathon, I know you talked, I'll do whatever you want. I'll do whatever you want, Amigos, um, but I can show t vacuum tube cameras. I can, I can do whatever you want, like I'm yours. Just you tell me what to do and I do it. But what I had in mind, what I had in mind, uh, 
the thing I've always wanted to accomplish on stream. I want I want to beat reshooter on stream. Like I want I want to give you guys some good gameplay, some quality gameplay, and I want to beat the game on stream, which I've never done before. So I want to do it for the kids, man. I want to play reshooter. I want to beat it. I want to I want to beat it for the kids. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do for the Amigathon because um, because reshooter's got good music. It's got like good great gameplay, and it's gonna be. It'll lift people up. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to watch. I go crazy when I play it. I yell Richard, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. And being that I have a tight two-hour block, I think I, within two hours I should be able to beat the game. So let me know if you like that idea. I want to. I want to beat Reshooter on stream. Do it, nice dude. Do it, Richard. Dude, I'm gonna be screaming Richard's name like crazy. <laughs> um. Oh Ram, oh Ram, it's it's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Boat adores AG games will be all for it. Denmark, you're funny. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is an ST port, uh, Leaf. You're totally right. It, it's got some heavy Atari branding. It was a little crappy on Amiga and ST, yeah, dude. <laughs> His face says, "Don't take this photo of me." Hilarious. So, I mean, this is actually, this is a really cool, um, arcade game, obviously. Um, but not such a great, not such a great port to Atari, SC, or Amiga. <laughs> the Paul, Paul is like, why do I have to play this? I think, I think the game might be playing a little bit fast. There's six children held captive, and I need to I need to free the children. Okay, for the kids. I'm so excited to beat Reshooter. I, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to um, play it in advance and make. Cause last time I played it on stream, uh, my Amiga crashed. So I might I actually might use my other Amiga for it. Oh man. Indy, Indy doesn't take a lot of hits, man. Like one hit, and I'm like down on my knees, like cursing the world. Look, <laughs> the graphics are really rough. Yo, King Super Super King Super Cool. Thank you so much for the follow, King. Th we are playing Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, which is, if you, I don't know how well you know Amiga King, but this is not a good representation of Amiga games. This is maybe maybe one. <laughs> Dude, this is like, it's, it's literally, this is maybe the worst version of this game ever. It, that's no wonder why it's got the Atari logo on it. A heat seeking. Okay, so he threw it. Whip the bats, Indy. Okay, I'm gonna whip them. Whip the fireball, Indy. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, I missed, I missed someone. The music and sounds are pretty <laughs> impressive. Um, play reshooter and don't stop until you finish it. Sep, I'm gonna finish it, dude. I'm totally gonna finish it. This port is sad. The arcade game, uh, dude. Yeah, Retro Ralph. The arcade game is really good. It's really good. This version is not good. You can keep the Atari logo. It's a crapper. Yeah, exactly, Rom. We don't always play. We don't always play great games here. <laughs> not every, not every Amiga port is, is good, as you can tell. Oh whoa! I, <laughs> it's hilarious. I just fell off the cliff. Like he falls to the bottom, gets on his knees, and then like cusses, whip the snake. I mean, this is this game feels like it was written like on basic for. <laughs> I'm glad the game is fast though. If it was slow, it'd be even more painful. Gotta run away from this fireball. Whip the fireball, whip the bat. The arcade, I mean the arcade version of this is pretty fun. Yes, we can play the arcade version thanks to MAME. I should I should uh, fire up my mister from retrobench.com and play the arcade version. The arcade version is good. 
Um, so many Amiga ports were poor. You're right, Leaf. A lot of them were. And a lot of them came from the ST. You're right. Pixel the Dawn says, Bill playing trash games so we don't have to. I, I do it for you. I'm taking it for the team, Pixels. I don't think, no, I don't think, I, um, Doom Noob, I think what's happening, I'm using WHD load to play this game, and I'm playing it on a, an 030 Amiga 1200. So this is obviously an Amiga 500 game, and they didn't scale the speed with the, with the WHD load for this. So it's not really this fast. But I kind of I kind of like the speed, but it's not supposed to be this fast. I think it's hard. Oh, Rom, it is pretty hard, and I think um, I think it's a little bit harder because of the speed. The MIDI style, of course, from the ST, right? What the mayor of Twitch is here? It's an honor to have you here, mayor. I hope I hope all hope all I hope all is well, you know, up there in the uh, mayor HQ. <laughs> the mayor of Twitch, thank you so much for the follow, ladies and gentlemen. The mayor, the mayor of Twitch is following me now. Thank you, mayor. Mayor, um, you would not approve of this. This is we are playing Indiana Jones and Temple of Doom on a real Commodore Amiga 1200, and uh, it is not a good representation of the Amiga. This may be the worst Amiga game I've ever played. <laughs> Oh, Razer XG. It's no Razer. Is it 420? My according to VHS cam, it's 416 and 15 seconds. Soon it's 420. Yes, Razer. XG. Razer XG. Remind me when it's 420. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop the stream at 420. I'm gonna stream until 515, and then I got I'll stream until 515, and then uh, my wife and I are going for a rat. It's gonna be an amazing picnic because it's a holiday weekend here in the states. We're going on this rad picnic with a bunch of friends. And we need to be there at 6 p.m. So um, I'm gonna stream till like 5:15. There's a kid. We can we can save a kid. Yes. Five children held captive. We saved a kid. Just like the Amigos. Just like the Amigos Retro Gaming Podcast. We saved the kid. <laughs> Comatron's Comatron ain't waiting for 4:20. Um, Doom Noob has got a good question. Um, is this a common problem with WHD load? It is. It is uh, Doom Noob. I mean, common? I don't know. It all depends on how well they port the game. But yeah, sometimes uh, WHD load, it's supposed to like scale the speed properly, but it doesn't always. And I have a hunch that, you know, someone ported this game and they're like, oh, this game stinks. We're not going to spend much more time on it. <laughs> Tell the mayor I want some Twitch kickbacks. <laughs> Oh, Tellybug, congratulations on your mister. The mister is amazing. That's why it's so fast, yeah. Because don't forget, WHD load is like kind of based, basically emulation, so it's not always totally accurate. You put links to the ADFs too. Thanks, Brother Bill. You rock, dude. Thank you, Sin Lao. Right, I'll do one more round of this. One more round of this, and then uh, and then we'll play the next game. <laughs> next game is a good one. Next game is Alien Breed Special Edition. So it's definitely Alien Breed. I love how these guys fall and then they 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 cuss you. Oh, this guy can run faster than me. He totally outran me. Pixels at Dawn. Pixels at Dawn. Oh, your birthday was yesterday, Pixels? Dude, happy birthday, Pixels at Dawn Gaming. It's for... Let's, go, let's use VH... Even though it may not be the official clock, let's go by... Um, let's go by VHS Cam. That's the official clock. So we still got a minute left. Where's that kid? I think there's a kid down here. Nope. Nope. Razor XG, dude, you are you're insane in the membrane, Razor XG. Thank you so much for your generosity. Amiga Cami's joining 420 with us. Nice Amiga Cami. Sep's doing it. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> dude, I've seen some streamers just like blaze up on stream. I would never do that, but I've seen I've seen it done. <laughs> I've seen it.
I wonder if Amiga Dad is here. I, I showed Amiga Dad how to chat yesterday when I was at his house for the barbecue. I, but he hasn't, he hasn't seemed to figure it out yet. You know what I should do? I should do, because I used to end my streams at 4.20 p.m., but now I've been streaming a little bit longer, because it's just not enough time, you know what I'm saying? So I should do, I should, we should come up with something to do at 4.20. Yes, we're, just like the Amigos Retro Gaming Podcast, we are, we are saving kids in this game. No. Oh. Oh, it's 4.20 now. According to the official VHS cam, it is now happy, happy 4.20 p.m., everyone. I hope, I hope uh, you all enjoy. Um... I just, I just, <laughs> I think Indy just hit it hard. Indy just uh, hit a little 420 and fell off the cliff. <laughs> Some people play as the abilities. Oh, I need to eat, finish eating my cookie. That's what I'm gonna do. Th this is not a funny cookie. It's just a regular. This is a, a vegan cookie. Come with Tron, you blaze on stream. Nice, dude. The mayor of Twitch, um, it is, but, um, marijuana is legal in New York, but it is, you need a medical card to get it. So you can't walk in and buy it like you can in like Colorado or Washington state. You can't walk into a store or like Vegas. Um, they do have dispensaries, but you need a, a card to, to legally get it, but it, it will be, it will be, um, it'll be legal soon enough. Exactly, exactly, 10 mark. <laughs> Amiga Live says, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Alien Breed Special Edition has been overhyped. I personally think it's terrible. That's why I've modified it on Amiga Live to make it better. Okay, so Amiga Live, I want to know what you did to make it better, because we're about to play it right now. So there you go. There's uh, three Indiana Jones games. Um, neither of them uh, blew me out of the water. <laughs> um, the, so I would stick. I would stick with the adventure. I would stick at with the adventure Indiana Jones games. Uh, the action ones haven't been so great. Although I think the first one we played, Indiana Jones, uh, the Atlantis action version. I think it's got potential if you have the right manual. I had the manual, but I didn't have the card with all the controls. I need to figure out all the controls, and that one looks like it's got potential. A little bit of potential. Because it's a very adventure e, it's an action slash adventure is what I would call it. Amiga Live has allowed one player to be able to go through two player and vice versa. I don't know. I don't know exactly what that means though. The capital state in Australia just legalized it. Oh, nice, dude. Amiga Live is the man. Amiga Live is the man. You're blazing a cup of tea, Astok. I love tea. I agree, Tim Mark. It'll probably be mostly legal in most states. Agreed. Um, Alien Breed 2 is best Alien Breed. Uh, maybe I should have maybe I should have played Alien Breed 2. Maybe I should have done it. Thank you, Brother Bill, for throwing down the Amiga Live command. Amiga Live is an amazing, amazing service. Go to AmigaLive.com. It lets you to play it lets you play Amiga games online multiplayer. From around like literally around the world. John's an amazing guy and he set up these servers all around the world. So you want to play? You want to play Alien Breed two player? You say I'm in New York. I want to play with one of my friends in Europe. We can do it thanks to Amiga Live. Thanks to the magic of Amiga Live. You smoke some alien weed. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bobby Zeal. They are mer merciful. I agreed. I agreed. Action slasher adventure. Totally. Amiga Live also streams here on Twitch. Brother Bill, thank you for doing the shout out. Alien Breed two AGA is the best. Maybe I should have played that. Normally in two-player mode, one player can block the other player from passing through him. So in tight pass, both players get stuck with each other. Oh, I got it, Amiga Live. Very cool. Wow, that's a good hack, Amiga Live. Razor XG again. Thank you, Razor XG, for the thousand bits. Razor, Razor, you crazy. Crazy Razor. Thank you for the support, dude. I, I appreciate you so much. Um, so Alien Breed Special Edition is the original Alien Breed, but it's a special version of it where they tweaked some of the maps. They added more maps. We're not going to get to that part. <laughs> but Amiga Sons wants to see some Alien Breed. And I've never really played the special. I usually play the original Alien Breed, and I've played Alien Breed 2 as well. Um, but I've never really played the special edition, so I figured we'd check this one out. Tow I've got, as Talk Dog, I've got Alien Breed Tower Salt ready to go too. That is a really good fix to him, I agree.
Retro Gaming Denmark, I should have known you when you lived in New York. It was so hard finding local Amigans back then. Retro Gaming Denmark, dude, I run an Amiga user group here in New York. We meet on the first Thursday of every month in White Plains, New York. It's called the Westchester Amiga User Group. So if you ever come back and visit, you are welcome to join us at one of our meetings. We have a good old time. Chocodom, thank you so much for the follow, Chocodom. Doom Noob, I'm in New York. Yep, I'm just outside New York City. I live about, we'll call it 45 minutes from Times Square. But, I, you know, now with the, with the lockdown and stuff, I can probably make it there quicker with no traffic. <laughs> um, Doom Noob, it was bad here in New York, but now like, we're one of the best, yo. Now it's getting worse, like in Florida and California. They're having a hard time there. But New York, we're, uh, we're doing pretty good here in New York, knock on wood. But thank you for your concern. Th I appreciate that very much, Doom Noob. Thank you. That's crazy, Amiga Cami. <laughs> oh, Frodo, you're looking at the exact opposite of an action game. Indiana Jones and the Revenge of Ancients, a text adventure game on the Apple II. I, text adventures are fun. You lived out on Long Island. Oh, nice. Retro Gaming Denmark. There's also, um, there was a big user group. There was Queen's user group, and there was um, Amuse. Thanks, Doom Noob. Yeah, we're doing good, man. We're doing good here. Alien Breed games are difficult. <laughs> Give me some Brimble. Give me some Brimble, baby. Let's enjoy the music for a second. Thanks for posting the link to Amiga Cami's YouTube, Brother Bill. Amiga Cami, Amiga Legend. She's in the movie that's playing over there on the on the CRT, by the way. She's in she's in Viva Amiga. I follow her. You should too. She's awesome. Oh, here we go. I'm, the year is 2191, and the galaxy stands on the brink of war. Only the interplanetary core maintain the uneasy peace. IPC members Johnson and Stone were heading for Federation headquarters after six months on a routine patrol around the Intech network. Nothing had happened and nothing ever did in this godforsaken place. They were glad to be going home. Then came the orders to check out a distant space research center which had failed to transmit on any of its on any of the Federation wave bands. ISRC4 was situated near the red giant I I tried. <laughs> Let's play. Um, Hazemaker, Hazemaker says uh, the levels are beatable. He did as a kid. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, uh, Tenmark, I'm sorry about uh, you know Arizona. That's that's really bad news. You guys will get through it though. Yo, what's up, Head Crash 24? Oh, nice. You're gonna do nice, ass talk. Let me know when you do it.
I know, right? Uh, it, the, the, uh, so the mayor of Twitch, you know, the uh, that's Alistair Brimble and the the soundtrack, the score to um, Alien Breed is one of like the classic Amiga tunes. It is, yeah, right, Amiga, right, ten mark. It's a, just a little bit better than the last music. <laughs> totally, dude. You'll drop some gift subs if I get to level two. Oh wow. King Indiana got Alistair Brimble's Amiga Works soundtrack CD back in 2013. Awesome compilation of some of his best works. Nice. Um, how do you bring up the the, the, the map? Do you remember uh, Haze Maker? All right, let's get some stuff. We get some keys. Haze Maker, can't you just um, shoot through the doors too if you don't have the key? Maps at the terminals. God, there's not a hotkey for the, for the map. Got it. I think you're right about that. I haven't played this game in a while. Nice. Got some money. I like it. Money's good. And we didn't have to whip anybody for the money. Yeah, you can shoot the doors because uh, you can shoot the doors better, but better to use the keys because you don't want to waste the ammo. So I just walked up to the terminal there and hit spacebar. Intex network connects. Uh, there's a code. Welcome to Intex systems. Weapon supplies, radar service. Maybe that's it. Mission objective. Intech Entertainment. There's the map. There it is. Okay, cool. Intech Map System V2O. The map's not too big. I mean, it's big, but maybe so. Maybe we'll go left and up, and we'll, we'll work our way in the upper. What do you think? I, do you want me to go up? I, I'm thinking about going up there, like up towards where it says Map System Two O, or I could just go hard left. Yeah, because you know what I'm gonna do? I'll go hard left, and maybe I'll pick up some keys when I go hard left, because I see a lot of there's a lot of doors happening here. It doesn't show me where the exit is, but I'm guessing the exit might be south because there's a spaceship in that room. Maybe the exit's there, or it could be, or it could be all the way uh, northeast, maybe in that room. Not sure. Okay, get out of that. Um, let's see what, what let's see, let's get, let's see if they can entertain us. Um, you do have to punch the aliens if you want chocolate, Tenmark. <laughs> true, true. Oh man, they're trying to—they're repairing the system. Um, the Intex Super Space Frog installed <laughs> Super Space Frog installed early next millennia. Oh, well, we'll have to wait till next millennia. So we can go here. Oh, okay. We can uh, we can use our money to. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy ammo when I need it. You instantly purchased this on PS3. Nice. It is an excellent game. Lord Squeak, the music's classic, right? Oh, in another alien breed, the entertainment was the game Pong. That's hilarious. Okay. So I'm going to go left. I'm going to go all the way left and then up. Right? I think. Oh, you know what? You know what? Hold on. You know what I'm going to do? Let me. I'm, I'm going to use modern technology to help me out a little bit here. I'm going to go back to the terminal really quick. Sorry about that. And then uh, I'm going to take a picture of the map. With my phone. How are Amiga Suns doing? Amiga Suns enjoying the enjoying the stream. Welcome to Intech Systems. Okay, let's go to radar. There we go. Blast! Thank you so much for the follow, Blast. I appreciate that very very much. Oh, this is cool. This would make a cool like wallpaper too. Got it. So I'm gonna go boom. I'm gonna go all the way left, left around. I'm gonna go all the way left, up, then down. I'm gonna do that first. Blast. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that very, very much. 2020 gameplay phone camera. You know, you gotta, you gotta use the tools. Use the tools, right? Now, now that's the cool thing. Like, like when I was playing, um, 
Like when you play a game like Reshooter, if you use emulation, you can use save states. You can't do that on the real machine unless you got like an action replay or something. I'm going no save state. I'm going no save state. I'm playing on real hardware for the amigos. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna beat Reshooter for the kids. We're gonna do it for the kids on stream. Failure is not an option. I'm gonna collect that money so I can get some uh, I can get some ammo. Oh, you can't even do that action replay on the Mister. That's a bummer. You should do it like back in the day. Put some paper over the screen and trace the map. That is pretty rad. That's a great idea, Pixels. That's hilarious. The Mister is really cool, though. You think many retro games become better at safe states? I agree, Doom Noob. I agree. <laughs> I, I the safe state is is nice. I'm not gonna lie. There, the brother Bill just dropped a link to Amigathon where you can you can donate. Uh, to the Extra Life Network on July 18th at my regular stream time, which is uh, 2 p.m. New York City time. I'll be uh, streaming some... I'm going to do Reshooter. I'm going to stream Reshooter. And I'm actually going to like try and complete the game on the stream. And uh, we're going to do it for the kids. We are going to do it for the kids. We're going to raise some money. I'll come up with some uh, something. Like if I actually beat it on the stream, I'll donate. You know, I'm going to donate money myself, of course. Not I can't do as much as I usually do but just because of the COVID financial situation. But I'll do my best. And I'll try and rally the troops. You know, we'll get some money together for the kids. Um, that's a great cause. And uh, Amigos Retro Gaming, you guys are the best. You gotta pay the rent. Exactly, exactly, Doom Noob. Um, if oh, thank you, uh, thank you, Purple Haze. I'm gonna see where the exit is. Purple Haze, just let's see what he said. Let's see what Purple Haze just gave us. There's the map. Can I zoom in? Oh, come on. Put it on the desktop. Wow, look at that desktop wallpaper. Boy, is that a nice wallpaper. How can I get that wallpaper? Oh, you could become a Mini Bill patron. <laughs> I can't zoom in. Kidding me? You kidding me? It's too small. I can't see. Ah, uh, nice. The Lost Underground. Awesome, dude. Uh, no, Amiga Live. Right now, it's only 020, but you can give it a lot of RAM. You like, um, George, you like my Amiga hat? Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a cool hat. I dig it. I used to have a bowling ball one too, but I lost it in Atlanta. I was hiking up a mountain with Adam Spring from um, Adam from a remotely interested podcast. Adam and I were hiking up mountains, and I I lost I lost my bowling ball hat. My bowling ball hat has been around the world with me, and it's resting somewhere on Stone Mountain in outside of Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> so that's where the exit is. Um, Purple Haze? Oh, it's there? Interesting. For some reason, I didn't realize you can go in the black area. Is that where it is? Is that where the... Are you sure? Is this yellow where the exit is, Purple Haze? I'm going to leave that up there. I'm going to leave that up there. Before the stream is over, Lost Underground, I'm going to show... I'm going to show the video that you made, too. Lost Underground is... Um, they made an awesome contribution to which demo party was it that was happening this weekend? I, I'm losing track. <laughs> I'm losing track, guys. It's a really cool, like, one minute piece of video art that's gorgeous. I'm going to be making a contribution to Lost Underground very soon. I thought I was going to be able to do it last week. I should have done it for that demo party. I couldn't do it. Exit is a tile with a donut shape on it. The donut shape. So, upper right corner. Is it this? I was guessing it was going to be lower lower right or upper right. That was my guess. Top. Yeah, up here. So it must be this one. Oh, it's this. It's this. Upper left. It must be this. Can you guys see? see yeah, it's this, right? That. That's it? Okay. 
All right, let's see if we can get there. Let's see if we can get there. What time is it? It's uh, 4.40 p.m. So this will probably be the last game I play. I'm going to play until 5.15. You can see the VHS cam has got the, got the clock down there. So I'm going to play until 5.15, and then we'll do a raid, and then I'm going to head to a... To a to a picnic it's gonna be a big picnic today because everyone's around for the weekend fourth of july weekend it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun picnic and then um i want to do a bonus stream this week so much but i'm also working on a new youtube video so i gotta i have to budget my retro time accordingly you know what i mean but i i would love to do a bonus stream we'll see maybe i'll do a bonus stream on wednesday we'll see we'll see how the week goes This weekend, two demo parties will DM me on Discord. Nice ass talk, dog. How do I switch scene, Purple Haze? Retro gaming. Demo. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. It's we will absolutely one hundred percent social distance at the picnic. Absolutely, um, and we're, it's like a huge, like wide open field. And um, yeah, it's totally, totally. We're far apart from each other. We're not gonna do anything silly. We'll be responsible. Cause I don't want I don't want to get sick, yo. You have to be very conservative with your ammo in this game. First aid already? You kidding me? That's the exit right there. It's a nice map game. Oh, we don't see the game screen. <laughs> ah, sorry guys. Acmafin, thank you so much for the subscription, Acmafin. Oh, it's an Amiga Live. Amiga Live gifted the tier one sub to Acmafin. Amiga Live, thank you for gifting the sub, man. I appreciate that. Amiga Live, you rock. Acmafin also rocks. Acmafin is uh, from. The you know, the Amiga team of Finland. <laughs> um, my food. The streets were packed in London last night. That's yikes. We'll be, you know, yeah, we'll be very, very uh, careful. You did it all time, Amigos. I, you know, Especially when you're a one-man band, sometimes these things happen. But chat's got my back. Chat's got my back. You know what I'm saying? I'm food. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Got it. I do that all the time, too. Whenever I'm in someone else's stream, I always do typos. And I'm like, man, I really need to check what I'm saying before I say it. I'll use the key. I'll use the key. Get some more money here. Oh good, I got some health. I need health. Let's see how much health that gave me. That's exactly what I needed. I'm only half health. I took, dude. You guys didn't see it because I was on the wrong, the wrong screen. But I really, I the guy, the alien barely grazed me. He barely grazed me, and it took away like all my health. It's like, come on. You're still hiding away on Thai Island without bridges, only a small ferry, dude. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> nice mantle fox. Playing with that music just adds to the atmosphere. I, I you know, I'm, I tend, I tend to like to uh, play games with music. You know, what I'm saying, Amiga Live. What do you guys think? Should I, should I go into the maintenance area? I would love to get to another terminal. I, I know I need to use the keys judiciously.
lots of stuff down here. So I can see that these these it'll be worth using the keys to get into those rooms. Muso John, I, I but I need a terminal in order to check the map. That's that's so I'm looking for a terminal too. Did I I like the constant like hum, you know what I'm saying? Definitely adds atmosphere. There's a lot of keys up there. I like I like using the keys to get keys, you know what I mean? Cause at least I know if I use a key, when I go through a door, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's gonna be worth it. Now, is it worth it to go in there? That's the question. Cause there's, there's enemies in there. Is it worth it to go right? Let me, let me check this map. I'm all the way down at the, at the bottom. I know that. I am, I am, um, I am on level one, Muso John. Yes. Did you guys know the alien death scream was a pitch sound effects of a kitten's meow? No way, me alive. I did not know that. I need the keys in that hangar. Okay, thank you, Purple Haze. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it then. I'm going for it. My phone, my phone is, was is blowing up with my mountain bike club. Sorry, guys. We got a little mountain bike. Purple Haze says I need these. I need the goods in here, so I'm, I'm going for it. I haven't wasted many, many shots either. Just like just like Alexander Hamilton, he's not gonna not gonna waste his shot. <laughs> he's not giving away his shot. He's young and scrappy. Not giving away his shot. That was my favorite song. And when we were we shot that song a lot for the for the show. And I I really like that song. Not gonna I got lucky there. I got lucky there. Some see sometimes when you take a shot, you get lucky. That's why you always gotta take your shot, folks. You can't you can't win if you're not in the game. I got some ammo, some much needed ammo. I got some money. I got some keys. Take that alien out. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. You know what? These guys just spawned. I'm not. I'm not gonna shoot them because I want to conserve my ammo. The sound design is. Oh, I'm gonna have. To, I might have to shoot my way out of here after all. I might have to shoot my way out of here. I'm just gonna try and not shoot as much as possible. Let's go. Let's go. I looted that room, so there's no no sense to fight. Now, the do I need to get this stuff? That's the question. Purple haze. Do I need to do I need to use do I need to burn keys? Check that map. Sound design is so important. So there's one, two. Th there's like four chambers down here. Do I, the question is, do I need to? Do I need to go into all of them? Hayes is totally the wingman steps. He started helping me, so you can't remember. Maybe the middle one, because you get plus one ammo and three keys and use three keys. Mm. Don't go in all of them, though, he says. See, I like that. That's what I'm saying before. I like it. It's a good strategy. If you're going to use keys, you might as well get keys back. You know what I'm saying? So there's a couple keys there. There's some ammo. Ammo is super important. So there's three keys. So there I use three and get three. So that's that's not bad. Here I use three. I'm gonna take this one. I'll get some ammo. There's money. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna hold off. Here we go. We're gonna use three and get three. What's what else is up? more keys up there? All right. We'll see. We'll see if I need them. What's here? I wonder if that's see there's that's a that's a three to two ratio three keys for two keys I'm not gonna take that not taking that I don't like that ratio I'm I need I need a one-to-one -one ratio <laughs> Ibanito what's up Ibanito thank you for joining the stream only one goes all the way through one of them uh, is the three for three I feel like this could be the three for three is there one? I see one there. I see two. I'm going for it. Uh, there's a health pack there. Oh, okay, so here, yikes. Two doors. Should I burn the keys? Should I burn the keys? I think I'm in the middle here, Aztoc. I think I'm in the middle. I'm, I know I need health, so I'm going to go for it.
burn them. I think I'm in the middle too. Because I got a lot of keys. If you look in the upper right corner, you can see I got a lot of keys. I'm the key man. <laughs> Do you guys like alien isolation? Okay, so what's that? That's a health kit there, if I need a health kit. I do need a little health. Let's see Let's see if I can do key, key for key here. I got the keys. I got the secret. I'm the key man. Two, key, two for two. I'll do two for two. I'll do two for two. I'm not going to burn the key. You know, there's health, but my health is like pretty good. It's not full, but we're looking like we're at, what, 85%? I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna keep it like this. I know, I know down here that there's some health if I need it. This is Alien Breed Special Edition, yes. Keyed up like Miami. <laughs> oh, the Key Master is definitely, is definitely uh, a Ghostbusters reference. Yeah, Doom Noob, uh, Alien Isolation is great, I love it. You haven't played it far, you're too scared? Totally Muso John, right? Mad Stalker 80, you uh, you streamed Amiga already. You streamed Super Frog. Super Frog is one of the best Amiga games, dude. That's a great choice. That's a great choice. Super Frog, Zool, love those games. It's Four thousand bucks in there. I know, I know. But if I need the money, I need the health. I'll go get. I'll go to the first one. I'll go to the first bay. I would love to, I would love to just get reacquaint myself uh, worth where I am. Let me check. I think I'm going. I think this is uh, where I started here, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is yeah. Let me just reacquaint myself here. I need a chain with the keys attached around my neck. Exactly, Seattle Coffee. Exactly. Welcome to Intech Systems. Mad Stalker, nice dude. I got my, I got, uh, I'm streaming from a real Amiga 1200 right now too. Um, I do, I got, I got, dude, I got a stack of floppies over there. It's good. I'm glad you do that. There's nothing like uh, streaming from the real machine. You know what I mean? It's the best. And I got, I even, I even stream from CRTs. I got a DVD playing right now. If you have Amiga DVD, but yeah, I stream. I've done CRT streams. I, that's the way to do it. These LCDs, man. These newfangled LCDs. LCDs are cool, but there's nothing like a CRT, you know what I mean? Okay, so we went down there. Oh, cool, so it shows me what I opened. So there's, there's okay, so there's four. There's four, and there's, so I've only done the left side. Um, two, I think I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up, and um, I'm going up. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna go up. Take care of business up in, this, up in the upper part there. Boom. Hardware, uh, hardware rules, right? Oh yeah, you want to zoom noob? Do you, so I've been doing the two camera setup because a lot of people like it, but I do have an overhead cam too. Where is it? I didn't, I didn't set up overhead cam before the stream, so it's a little crooked. But you can see that it's freaking in, got Indiana Jones here. I got, I got some magnesium pills that I forgot to take there. Magnesium is good for poison ivy. I got poison ivy. Uh, I got, I got these dudes, freaking Indiana Jones. From the, earlier in the stream. But this is the Amiga I'm streaming from right now. It's an Amiga 1200. PAL Amiga 1200 with an O30 in it. ACA 1233N. Here we go. Abort Intech Network. Now... Dude, Sep, it's the black Amiga 1200, I love, I love it. It's so good. You play on CRTs, except it's a game for an HD console. CRTs rule. You can you got you got HD CRTs too. <laughs> They're rare, but they got them. CRT equals zero output lag. Exactly. Nice ass talk. I used to have overhead cam on the screen at all time, but people seem to like the uh, the two camera setup. So I, with the VHS cams, I've been doing it. Bomber, Mad Stalker. I love Lotus. Lotus is awesome. A triple cam. The question is, I could do a triple cam setup. It's just that it kind of uses a lot of screen real estate. You know what I mean? Oh, Oram, you noticed Optimus Prime back there? Mad Stalker 80. Thank you so much for the follow, Mad Stalker. I'll follow you too. I'll check out your streams. That's awesome. 
Um, yeah, I got, I got Optimus Prime and Voltron up there. How did you see that, dude? Good eye. Good eye, Oram. Wow. I got Matt. Yeah, Voltron and Optimus are up there. And I got I got my floppies. I got some floppies up there too. Muso John playing Amiga is never a bad choice. I Benito, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Appreciate that very very much. I Benito, thank you. If you guys are new to my stream and just following me, I'm Bill. I stream Amiga stuff here once a week on Twitch every Sunday, 2 p.m. New York City time. That's that's Eastern Standard or Eastern Daylight, depending on time of year. Um, it's 6 p.m. It translates to 6 p.m. Universal time. So you can do the math from there. Now the question is, do I go through these doors? I can't see. I can't see in there. I think, oh, I went this way already. So I'm going to have to, let me check the map. You need to get Disposable Hero, Mad Stalker. Um, dude, if you join my Discord channel, I can hook you up. I'm not out of keys. I've got a lot of keys, um, Muso John. I got, I got one, two, three, four, five, six plus keys. All right, so I'm up there. So if I go through the first one, it's fewer doors. So I'm probably going to do that. I'll probably do that. As Talk Dog says, there's a question flowing around the Pints and Amiga Discord. Do you ever need to change your Amiga window size? Dude, I need to change it for every single game. I, I What I do before the streams, I, I load up every game that I'm going to play, and then I do all the croppings um, for each individual game. So, for example, this is my Alien Breed Special Edition uh, profile. If I go to, like, open source scan converter, um, you, know, you, see, you can see there's a little fat on the edges there. I trim the fat. So this one uses a lot of screen real estate, but not a lot of the games don't. Like the Indiana Jones ones use a very small, very small amount of screen real estate. So I go and I do all the cropping. It looks like I just turn on the the Amiga and play, but half the time, the reason why I didn't read all the instructions for Indiana Jones is because I was doing all my freaking, I was doing I was doing all a lot kind of stuff. <laughs> I I actually I prepare for these streams, believe it or not. Oh man, I just burned a lot of keys. I couldn't get through there. Yikes. But I could I could go back. I could go back and I could buy some keys. That wasn't a good that was not a good trade right there, guys. I burned some keys. I'm not happy about that. I might have been in a different area here. Yeah, Muso John, I make a I make a different scene for every single game. Razor, he's coming on the stream. I just, what I need to do is I really need to do my homework and I want to make it a great stream. So I need to do, I need to do a lot of homework before he comes on. Um, I, I, I need to spend a lot of time like doing proper research for him. It's dedication, Pixel on. It is dedication, man. I want my streams to be awesome. You know what I mean? I try really hard. I appreciate you all coming here and spending time to like watch my streams and I, I make them the best I can possibly do. They're not always great, but I make them the best I can do. I figure like so many people here are so nice and first of all, you're all generous with your time because you come and spend your time watching my stream. Second of all, some of you have been like super generous like with donations and subscriptions and Patreon and all stuff. So it's like, I wanna make it good for you. I wanna make it like worth your while. Welcome to Intex. So it, it, uh, if I have the time, I make it as good as I can possibly can. I can make it. I try and make myself better too, <laughs> but that's the hardest thing to improve. I'm good at I'm good at video stuff, but uh, being on camera, I'm I'm working on that too. Um, let's get some uh, let's get let's buy some ammo. Oh, I don't I don't want to buy. I'm good. I'm I don't need any special guns. I don't need any special guns. Uh, I want I need. I can't I can't buy ammo. I thought I could buy ammo. Oh man, tools. Remote location scanner, ammo charge. There we go. Um, additional life, a key pack. That's what I want to buy. I want to buy a key pack. So a key pack is five thousand credits. I don't even know what I have. It looks like I have eleven thousand credits. I'm gonna buy a key pack. Boom. Yes. So I've bought the key pack. Cool. I bought the key pack. All right, escape. Uh, exit. Um. I've got a lot of money. Um, 
I don't have a CD TV and a CD32. I wish, Matt Stalker. I don't. I've only got a CD32 colored <laughs> Amiga 1200, but I don't have a CD TV or a CD32. Nice, nice link there, Amiga Live. Thank you. Oh, uh, Leaf says, I appreciate your work, Amiga Bill. Your streams are fantastic. All your content, really. Oh, thank you so much, Leaf. Mad Stalker, yes, I'm in New York. I'm just outside New York City, Mad Stalker. Um, this is one of my first streams of yours I've watched fully, and it's been great. Oh, thank you, Muso John. Muso John, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And Leaf, I really appreciate the kind words, dude. Chilled stream, but the quality's through the roof. Thank you guys so much. Oh, Maya's back. Maya, I told you, that's that's silly Maya up there next to the Amiga logo on my Amiga checkmark monitor. Maya, I gave them the disclaimer, too. I said, that's not what Maya really looks like. She's making the silly Maya face. I gave him the disclaimer. I think silly Maya looks... looks Looks, looks awesome though. So you don't, you don't. I don't think Silly Maya needs a disclaimer, but I gave the disclaimer anyway. <laughs> what was the remote location scanner? Do you want me to buy it? Um, I'm always chill, Bill. Your streams are the benchmark, dude. Amigos Retro Gaming, thank you so much, dude. I love your streams, Amigos Retro Gaming. You guys are the best. I freaking love Amigos. You guys are super, super nice. You remind me of me and Anthony, except you're you're more normal. <laughs> Anthony and I are nuts. Oh man, you guys you guys are like the voice of reason. Anthony and I are just crazy guys. <laughs> I can't wait. I cannot wait to do the reshooter Amigathon stream. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be intense. I'm gonna be sweating. I'm gonna be sweating. I'm gonna be dancing. I'm gonna be sweating. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, I could buy a lot. Got it. Got it. Musa John understood. Yeah, I could play the CD32 games off the CD drive in my X1000. Oh, I didn't even know that, Brother Bill. Really? Oh, that's sweet. Sinlao says my camera presence is great. Lots of energy and passion. Sinlao, thank you. Thank you, because I'm really, I've never been in front of the camera until I started doing the YouTube videos and now the streams. I don't feel like I'm a natural in front of the camera by any stretch of the imagination, so doing the YouTube videos and the streams have helped me a lot. I'm a behind the camera kind of guy, you know what I mean? I, I feel natural behind the camera, in front of the camera, don't feel as natural. <laughs> but I'm working on it, I'm trying to be good. Thank you for the kind words though. Oh, you brought up for Banshee? The CD32 is amazing, Mad Stalker, and Banshee is one of my favorite games. Thank you for shouting out Maya, Brother Bill. I don't think Maya streams, but shout her out anyway, because she's a VIP. VIP. The Lost Underground says, just making Kuda. Oh, he's got a dog. He's The Lost Underground's with a dog. Um, he's snuggling up on the couch with a blanket and chilling to my stream. Group sticks together. Nice, Lost Underground. Um, Mad Stalker, was the Amiga popular in the US in the 80s and 90s? <laughs> um, I mean, it was around, but it was not as popular as like Mac or PC. So not, not as popular as it was in Europe. Cheers from Germany. Nice, Matt Stalker. Dude, I've got to get to Germany. I've been to Germany, um, but I need to get back because there's so many amazing Amiga people in Germany and so many great Amiga friends in Germany. I need, I need to get back there really, really bad. I earned myself a new bandana from Edison Party. Oh, the dog did. Awesome, dude. <laughs> the dog is amazing. Amigos, you guys, are, you guys are definitely... Well, let's put it this way. You're more normal than me and Anthony, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, thank you, Muso John. Thank you. Um, Amiga Live says, do we know in advance who will be participating in the Amiga Live hour? Oh, Amiga Live, I don't think I'm going to be in the Amiga Live hour. I'm going to be, I've got my, I got my own hour, yo. <laughs> I would love to participate in the Amiga Live hour, but yeah, I'm doing two hours. I'm doing two hours uh, in the Amigathon, and I think, I think that's all I'm going to be able to do. So I would love to, I would love to do some Amiga Live stuff, but I think I'm just going to have to focus. I, I, I got to practice reshooter, man. I got to beat it. I can't let the kids down, Amiga Live. I can't let him down. Gotta beat Reshooter on stream. It's my stream, my stream goal. But if you really want me, if you really want me, I'll maybe I can find some time to do it. Know what I'm saying? All right, how do I get out of here? I was gonna play some Tower Assault too. Tower Assault as well. Um, but I don't think it's gonna it's gonna happen that way. It's 5:04 p.m. I've only got about 10 minutes left of streaming, unfortunately, guys. 
then I, I need to, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go out with a bunch of friends, some friends, and my wife on a little picnic. Outdoor social distancing picnic, don't worry. None, none of us want to get sick. I'll be, I got, I got myself an N95 mask. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty baller status. N95 mask is no joke. Those things like fit on your face, they're thick, they're hard to breathe in, they protect you. Oh, I, uh, Arieri says, you named our sauna as hot tub a couple of years back. Thanks for that. Dude, the hot tub is the best, dude. Love the hot tub. <laughs> 10 marks still doesn't think they're normal. That's hilarious. <laughs> Revision 2021. I might maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I will have a submission comatron. Musa John, you need to buy Reshooter. Reshooter, you should buy Reshooter. Reshooter is amazing. It's like one of my favorite games. Barbarian. Th have you played the new Barbarian, Muso John? It's really good. I'll do it, man. Dude, amigos, I'm totally gonna do it. For the kids, man, I'm not gonna let the kids down. We're gonna 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 beat it. Gonna beat Reshooter on stream as long as my Amiga holds up. Interesting thing. My goal for tw for 2019 was to beat Reshooter on stream, and I was I was in a position to do it. I was I was I was in a really good spot. I was on the, the last world. I, I was in the groove. I was in the zone. The game had no chance against me. Richard, Richard had no chance. I was I was gonna win it, and then my Amiga crashed. That was my last stream of 2019, and I've just been it's been haunting me ever since. I haven't been able to recover from that. So I may I may use my my NTSC Amiga, believe it or not. Player one required first aid. Really? They barely touched me. There's the exit. How do I get in there? All right. How do I get in there, guys? Let's see. I can't go through there. Nothing's going on there, so we have to go down and over. Let's see. I've been up here already in bay one. The deck lift is over there. How do I get to the left? If I go through here, no. Okay. Oh, maybe I need to go over here. Got it. But I need to be very careful here because I I'm not I'm not healthy. Got a key. More keys. A key for a key? A key for a key, why not? Oh, there's nothing there. I thought I could go through. Whoa. Am I gonna have to Am I gonna have to go back and get more keys? This freaking locker's in the way. Come here, come here, aliens. Got him. Oh, I didn't mean to open that door, but I did. Now, the question is, do I keep going this way or do I go? I have a feeling I need to go down there. Oh, man. That. Whew, there's a lot of enemies there. A, a lot of keys. These guys respawn. Oh, oh, they all lead to the same place. They lead, So I'm not going to burn the keys. I'm going to go left. Do I need more ammo? How much ammo do I have? Things are going to get hectic here, everyone. Things are going to get real hectic here. Come on. I'm going to lure him. In, I'm going to lure him here. It's a little bit easier to shoot him in the contained space. Than the op the wide open space. Um, I don't need to open. Okay, thank you, Haze Maker. I figured that out. Thank you, thank you, Hayes. Um, Mad Stalker. I'll read. I'll read your comment in a second. This is. I think this is gonna be the climax of the stream right here. Will I survive? I'm gonna lure the alien up here. Lure him into the hallway. The open space is not my friend. Yeah, boy. Line those aliens up and take them down. Yes. Come on, baby. Oh, there's a lot of aliens here. They keep respawning. Oh, man. Do they keep respawning when I go back? Oh, I'm in tr Oh, man. Do they keep respawning? My oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Got to fight my way out here. Keys. I think I just snuck through. Out, out, out we go. Boom! Boom! We did it, Purple Haze. 
We did it. We made it out. Mission accomplished. Mission was just to get through level one. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Um, Mad Stalker, yeah, I'll go back and read your message. Mad Stalker, um, your school threw out about 40 Amiga 2000. 40 Amiga 2000s? Your school had 40 Amiga 2000s? What's, did you, you must have went to an awesome school. Holy cow. Um, you could get as much as you want for free. Your grandma only allowed you to get one. Well, at least you got one. At least you got one. Um, I'm sure you'll beat Reshooter within the first hour. What are you going to do for the second hour? Amiga Live, I've got plans. I've got plans. Um, I'm a Reshooter pro player. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna own it. I'm going to practice for it, too. I'm going to practice for Reshooter. Amiga Kami got Reshooter for her birthday this year, along with Tiny Little Sug and Black Dawn Rebirth. Amiga Kami, those are great games. Great games, Amiga Kami. Um... Yeah, they're all amazing. I agreed, Mia Kami. Um, I'm just catching up on the chat. Um, can a game be both PAL and NTSC compatible, like in the same file? Sinla, I don't know about the same file, but I know they have PAL and NTSC versions of the same game. You, of course, you could, if you have, you know, <coughs> later version of Kickstart, you can boot your machine in either PAL or NTSC. So I, I've played Reshooter on my NTSC Amiga without a problem. I boot it in PAL mode. Um, Thank you, Seth. Oh, thank you. I'm pretty good at reshooter. I'm good at I'm good at like action games. You know what I mean? I think they were respawning, but I was able to get it out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. That's Doom Noob. I was trying to quote Bill Bill Paxton. I couldn't remember. Um, Mad Stalker eighty. I'm playing with my old school controller. I'm playing I'm, Haze Maker. I'm gonna get to you in a second. Haze Maker is just super super generous here. Um, I'm playing with my Wyco Bat. This is an original, this is what I used to play with the Amiga. This is what I used to play uh, my Amiga with back in the day. This is the Wyco Bat. I love it. It's got two buttons, but you can choose one or the other. It's not like a two button controller. Um, I also play with the Greek stick. Um, I'm waiting for a new shipment of Greek sticks to come in. And I play with uh, with monster joysticks. I love monster joysticks as well. Um, my monster. Jo Normally I play with the monster joystick. I'd be playing right now with the monster joystick. But I dropped it, and the, the nine pin connector got a little bit broken. So Monster Joysticks is going to hook me up with a new connector. But I love all different kinds of joysticks. Um, I love the Greek stick. I love the Monster Joystick, and I, I love the classic sticks as well. I love the Tac Two as well. Um, so I, depending on the game, I play different. I use different controllers for different games. For Reshooter, I'll probably be using the White Go Bat. Maybe we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna be practicing. I'm gonna be practicing for that. Um, so that was cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm gonna put on some music. I'm gonna put on some music. We beat, uh, you know, we got through level one on Alien Breed. That was rad. Alien Breed Special Edition. I'm gonna put on some music. I'm gonna talk to you all. I'm gonna thank Purple Haze Maker for gifting a bunch of subs. He did it. He did it, man. He, he kept his word. Um, let's put on some Hoffman. I need some Hoffman right now. I need some Hoffman. Um, let's see what kind of Hoffman can we uh, can we play here. Um. Unreal. A little Unreal remix from Hoffman. Oh, it's a Hoffman mix, but it's by Dreamfish. Interesting. Unreal is such a good game. Um, let me catch up on this. So, anyway, um, that's the controller I'm playing with. It's the White Go Bat. Um, so, Purple Haze. Uh, they respawn when while your ammo is limited. One of the evil, unfair difficulties of the game. Got it, Amiga Live. Yeah, I know. I, they killed me once, but they didn't, they didn't totally kill me. Um, what's 40, Muso John? So anyway, Purple Haze Maker, thank you so much for gifting five subs to my community. Purple Haze, you rock. Brother Bill, you probably already shouted out Purple Haze if you didn't, go for it. Haze was Haze was a guest on my bonus Wednesday stream like a week and a half ago. He's an amazing Commodore 64 streamer. He also streams Amiga stuff. And um, he's a great guy and he made a new game called Mario Cement Factory. Uh, using He taught himself assembly language to make it for the Commodore 64. It's a super, super cool game. And uh, that was a fun stream, Purple Haze. Thank you so much for coming on my stream, and thank you so much for gifting subs to my community. That's freaking rad. Thank you, Purple Haze. I, I really appreciate it. If I had to meet 2000s in my school, I would never graduated. Exactly, Brother Bill. Exactly. So, my sub. So, if you subscribe to me here or on Patreon, um, I send you guys links to uh, all the games that I play. I send you all the links to all the news items. If there's a demo of a game that's like free and available and I get permission from the author, I include the demo as well so you don't have to go download it. Um, so yeah, I, I mean I try and hook you guys up because I really appreciate everyone who subs uh, to me. 
Purple Haze, you dropped your monster joystick too. Did it did it survive the, the drop, Purple Haze? You had an Amiga 4000 near the end and it blew your video class away. Oh man, Aztec, I would have loved to have a 4000 back then. You played with a modded Mega Drive controller on the Amiga. Oh, Mad Stalker, I've got one of those too. I'm just not a D-pad guy. I don't like D-pads, I like sticks. The Greek stick is awesome. I also ordered a Monster Joystick CD32 version. Excellent Razor XG. They're both great sticks, man. I love them both. I can't wait to get my, my new Greek sticks. Amiga Cami would love one of those CD32 Monster Joysticks. That's what I've always dreamed of, especially the up button remapping switch. I'm going to keep that in mind, Amiga Cami. Razor actually, Hoffman, Hoffman is God. Um, no. Um, Amiga Nick, the Greek stick does not use Sanwa joystick and buttons. Um, which is cool. Which is cool because it's different. Uh, Monster Joystick, use, these are Sanwa, Sanwa stick and Sanwa buttons. Monster Joystick does not, I mean, uh, Greek stick does not use Sanwa. So it's cool to have two different, different options. Bill said with one voice, I will not go quietly into the night. You know it. Hayes is a very nice person, I agree. You're welcome, Purple Hayes. And thank you th thank you so much for your generosity and gifting those subs, Purple Hayes. I appreciate it. Razor XG, where's Ash? Um, I think it's okay for me to say because she posted it uh, publicly. Uh, unfortunately, Ash's dad passed away. So, you know, if you guys, uh, if you're spiritual or you're, you know, you're um, religious, you know, just... Give Ash's dad, give Ash a little support, you know, in your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? That's why she's not streaming today. She posted it publicly on Instagram, so I think it's okay to say it. Your Amiga had all 2000s for teaching machine writing, Mad Stalker? Oh, wow. Very cool. I, I, wish, I, had a, I wish I had a 2000. Or I wish I had any Amiga. I mean, I had my own Amiga in high school, but my high school didn't have any Amigas. We had, like, IBM XTs. Or ATs. ATs. The joystick still works and damage to the case and the cable starting to oh purple haze you know i bought myself extra cables my cable the cable that came with the monster joystick was getting frayed and uh you can buy those ex those joystick extension cables i bought them on amazon i bought like a two pack for like 10 bucks you're welcome Ari. Ari. you're thank you for hanging out dude you like the game cat the gamepad but you're a monster joystick the monster joystick brought you back brother real nice i, I love joysticks Jira, I'm not, I'm not going yet. It was Edison Party. Oh, yeah, uh, thank you. Um, Lost Underground, drop the link into the chat again for me, and I'll, I'll play your demo. It's really sad because um, Ash's dad was a big Amiga guy, like a big Amiga guy, and that's how he, she got into Amiga as well. And uh, she's got a lot of his Commodore. She's got, like, his SX64. She's got two of his Amiga 500s. And um, I'm going to help her, you know, get her dad's stuff working again. It's now it means more than ever. I mean, I did not expect this to happen because she's been keeping me up to date. And, like, he was doing really well and she was taking great care of him. So it's just really, it's really a bummer. Really a bummer. Mad Stalker grew up uh, with Rainbow Islands, Parasol Stars, Bubble Bobble, Lotus 2 and 3, Wings of Death, Apidia, Turk and 3, Pang, Midnight Resistance, Toki, Golden Axe, and Lionheart. Ooh, that's a, that's a good good collection right there, Mad Stalker. Kellogg, you like the camera angle and colors? Thank you. Thank you. Bitten, I'm almost done here. I'm almost done. Yeah, Ass Talk Dog. I'm really sorry. I, uh, that's, that's terrible. Terrible. A lot of us are been losing some dads, you know what I'm saying? So Ash is dead. Ash is dead. Yeah, it's really sad. I can't imagine Ass Talk. Can't imagine. Um, so anyway, speaking of Ass Talk, Ass Talk, can you drop the link into the chat? Ass Talk made a submission to. There was a demo party. It was called Edison Party. It happened this weekend, and Ass Talk from the Lost Underground made a great submission. Man, it was a video art submission. It's only like a minute long. Oh man, ten mark, you lost yours ten years ago. It's still very hard. Go hug your dads. Exact. Ten, see, that's the thing, man. Like Amiga dad's still hanging in there, so I try and I really appreciate like every moment I have with him. You know, I really do. Especially when I see things like this happening to my friends' dads, it makes I'm just like super thankful and I like appreciate every moment. That's wise words. I played Rough and Tumble recently, Mad Stalker, but Brian the Lion, Rough and Tumble, I agree, they're both great games, Mad Stalker. 
There we go. Let's check this out real quick. This, as, this is As Talk Dog from the Lost Underground, uh, the demo part, the demo group that I'm now a member of. Um, he made this submission as a last minute submission to the Edison party. Let's check it out. Oh, thank you, Mantle. You're super kind, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, Muso John. It's the virus sucks, man. It's made it hard for a lot of us. I don't I, you know. I don't know what happened to Ash's dad, but it's just really sad. Ash is a really great person. All right, check it out. So this is called Undiscovered. It's by As Talk Dog from the Lost Underground. Um, it was released just hours ago at Edison Party 2020. I will not forget to change screens. Let's uh, let's check it out, As Talk. Let's see what you got, As Talk. Let's see what you've been up to, my man. The Lost Underground logo is rad. I'm gonna start it again because I had I had the I had the curse I had the mouse over the thing. Oh, sorry about that, dude. But it's dude, the music is crazy. Nice as talk, great job, dude. I love it. I love it, dude. I think you, I think as talk uh, scored a second place with that one. That's some video art. Very acidy, very trippy. I like it. I like it as talk. He threw this together like in, in like the, at the last minute too. That was amazing, as talk. Great job, brother. Great job, brother. Um. Brother Bill. Oh, thank you, Brother Bill. I mean, of course I was there for you and Anthony. You guys you guys are like my family, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know and your mom and everything, man. It's been, I, I felt so bad for Anthony when he was like moving to Florida and stuff. It, I can't even imagine how hard that was, you know what I'm saying, Brother Bill? So, of course you gotta be there for your friends, you know? <laughs> right on, Oram. That was a good, that was good, right? I, so, um, as talk, we should do something, we should do something for a 10 marks Amiga art contest. I would totally do it for, um, for the Amigos too. I just didn't know that they were having an art contest until recently. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to throw something together. You know, I, I need to practice my reshooter. I don't think I have time to work on anything between now and the 18th, but, cause I gotta practice my reshooter cause I can't let the kids down. <laughs> BS Guard Core, thank you so much for the follow, BS Guard Core. I'm just finishing up the stream right now, but thank you, thank you so much for the follow. Um, I'll be streaming, uh, who knows, I might do a surprise stream on Wednesday, we'll see, I don't know. But I'll definitely be back next Sunday. I'll be back next Sunday for sure. Thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate that very, very much. Yeah, that's a good point, Mantle Fox, totally. Um... Mad Stalker played a game in uh, on the Amiga in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, where nothing was written on the disc. The game was basically a 3D version of Windjammers, where you hit a wall behind the opponent and the floor slowly disappeared. Trying to find the game's name for ages and it drives me insane. I don't know that one, Mad Stalker. May I, you know what? I bet you. Um, I bet you one of the. Um, Guys from Lemon Amiga might know. Sep or Pred Seda might know that. Right on, Aztoc. Thanks, thanks, uh, Mantle. Every I love every way. Oh, it's one of the best. Oh, wait, go, no, I won't play every way. 
as talk i love your that was really that's some really cool video art dude that was just awesome yeah the lemon and me you guys are hanging out here maybe shuffle pa cafe i don't know no i don't think so shuffle Pot cafe was like a was like a shuffleboard game i, I love it tron could be gabora I love Shuffle Puck Cafe. I've even got like a new version of Shuffle Puck Cafe called Shuffle Puck Cantina. It's like a, it's a VR game on Steam. Hoffman, Hoffman rules. And this demo, the only thing I don't like about listening to this mod is that I'm not watching the demo. The demo is amazing. Um, I'll tell you guys what. Um, oh, they, they're using some of the same samples to Prodigy Doom Noob? No way. That is just awesome. Thank you, Amiga1200 Game. You're the best. This demo is amazing, Razor XG. I love it. I love it. So what we're going to do is this. Um, you know, Kim Justice is actually streaming right now. And she was streaming last week. I didn't even know that she was uh, streaming here on Twitch. Apparently, she's just doing Twitch now more than YouTube, I guess. I don't, I don't know about more, but she's streaming on Twitch. So we're going to raid Kim Justice. She's playing Amiga stuff. She's playing some terrible old sports games. So we're going to raid Kim. Um, maybe I'll do a surprise stream this week. I don't know. I still got to edit a YouTube video. But I'll definitely be back next Sunday. Thank you all for watching today. I had so much fun. Um, if you want to follow me on social media to keep up on things, there's my links. Um, I'll be back next Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 6 p.m. UTC. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week, uh, but it'll be a lot of fun. And I thank everyone for hanging out today. Thank you so much for like, giving me your time. And thank you, everyone, who like, donated and subscribed and, and all my patrons. Uh, you guys are amazing. Um, Razor XG, dude, you're insane. Razor XG and Oram, you guys are nuts. Thank you so much for all the, the support today, guys. You're amazing. Like, I'm seriously amazing. Seriously amazing. You're welcome, Amiga Live. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out. Thank you, Tenmark. Maya, thank you. Ma Maya, I love Maya. I, lo I hope you enjoy your sticker on the monitor. It's awesome. Silly Maya rocks. Um, so does so does SR Baker up there. I'm like, SR Baker's beard holding down the upper right corner of the monitor. I love it. Thank you, Sigor. Sigor, thank you too, buddy. I appreciate you very much. Sep, you rock, dude. You rock, Sep. Sep, your stickers are gonna be on the way tomorrow. I promise. You're welcome, suck. Um, Mad Stalker, thank you. Thank you, K Indiana. Thanks, Oram, my man, and Razor XG. As talk, my man. Uh, that's a beautiful little piece of work you did there. Uh, you're welcome, Walker GR. Um, I Benito, thank you so much. Nice to meet you too, and thank you for the follow. I hope you uh, enjoy. I hope you come back, I Benito. Thank you so much, Gabora. Amiga love to you, Gabora. You're bitten. You rock, dude. It was fun, Frodo. Thanks, dude. You watched every day together with Hoffman at the Slogskin demo party, Amiga Nick. That's amazing. Oh, that's so cool. Hoffman's amazing. That's amazing. You got a lot of Twitchers to follow? Nice. Nice steps. All right, everyone. I'm going to take it to the hot tub. Thanks again, everyone, for hanging out. And I will catch you next Sunday. Have a great week. Amiga forever. Let's take it to the hot tub. And we'll give Kim Justice a nice big, re a nice big raid. Kim, legendary, legendary Amiga content creator. Amiga forever.
Thank you.